Sports. It's in the game. I mean, it's just more question you have to ask me um, in order for me to tell you about myself. I just can't give you a whole spiel. I don't even know where you're sitting at. <laughs> this ain't what you want, bitch. I'm a fucking phenomenon. <laughs> Yo, we live, baby. We live. We back in the building. Yo, what up, Brad? <laughs> What's going what on, Hoach? We Brad? back. We back. We back. What's going on? Normal guy first up in the chat. What's going on? Yeah, normal guy always here in the building. Yo, what up, back. It's another edition of Knucklehead what Sports. Is but uh, we, we, I know we missing someone. We missing yeah, what's, what's the tallest <laughs> man in the building? He unfortunately, he's a, he's a little preoccupied right now, but it's all good. We got the show. Wait, wait, we hold, hit. On, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Did you finally hook him up with a baby mama? Uh, I, I unfortunately did not do that. That should have. That would have been a good reason to miss the show, though. But um, now he's handling some other business. So um, I, I believe he will be here before the 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 show ends. So we'll get toe on here eventually. But uh, <laughs> he's a little preoccupied. But it's all good. We here. We in the building. We here to talk all things sports. We here to talk about why. Again, just fuck Boston. <laughs> um, yes, I, yes. I I sent Krill the link, but I feel like he might still be mourning, so I don't I don't know. Um, I, we'll I see. Don't, I, I don't we'll know. See. I don't know. I'm I'm have to have do a, a welfare. Uh, what is it? Well, a welfare check or what is it? A wellness <laughs> check. Yeah. A wellness check, right? It's a wellness check, right? Um, uh, but um, but at the yeah. end of the day, and I mean this from the bottom of my heart. Fuck Boston. Facts, facts. And there, there go Krill in the chat. Yo, Krill, I sent you the link, my guy. Um, again, our hearts go out to you. Um, I, I, I was pulling for Mavs, but um, yeah, man, it was. We were live. I'm gonna, was, <laughs> I'm gonna be truthful. Fuck both teams. <laughs> again, I, my team got eliminated a long time ago, so it was like I was just, my I was just got, hoping. My team got eliminated due to injuries. Actually, so, even worse. I'd rather lose than go out because of injuries. Yeah, well, that was yeah. 
Yeah, that game was tough because I I watched the last game y'all were in. If, if, if my team is, yeah. if my team loses straight up, I can accept that. Yeah, but, but knowing that three out of my five starters were hurt and not even playing, and then my star player got hurt now with eight minutes left in the fourth quarter, yeah, yeah, man, I'd rather I'd rather lose with all my people than lose due to injury. Yeah, but at the end of the day. Fuck Boston. Anybody from Boston listening to this right now, your championship ain't shit either. All right? Let's, let's, let's squash that shit right now. Not respect it. I, I, I got to agree. I got to agree. But what's going on, normal guy? What's going on? What's going on? Um, also, unfortunately, some, some sad news. Uh, yesterday, we lost late great Willie Mays. But I, man, he had a good life. Ninety three. Look, being an avid baseball fan, yeah, it hurt. All right, because Willie Mays was part of the New York Giants, not the San Francisco Giants. No, 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 no. The New York Giants making plays in the Polo Grounds. All right. It, it's it's a sad loss, but like you said, he was 93. He lived a good life. That's all you can ask. Yeah, man. Like it's it's. It was something. I was like when I was saw. Him, I was like, is it a young death? Because I I don't know. It's one of those where it's like you start to think, oh, maybe it'll probably be in their like mid 80s, something around there. And I saw 93. I was like, you know what? That's not a bad life to live, man. Right like. Now. Mid eighties is still a good fucking life. No, it is too. It definitely is. But it's like, yo, when you're right there, that you're like in the single digits before hitting in a hundred, I feel like you're good. Like that, it, it's a good life to live. You're good. You look. You I, your... like I say, it, it all depends. You know, uh, yeah. I know you, Toe, and the rest of the Knucklehead Networks. Know a couple of months ago, I lost my grandmother. But you know, like I tell people, she was a hundred and two years old. The last year yeah. and. The last year to two years, she was bedridden. She couldn't do nothing. They had to feed her, bathe her. They had to wipe her. No, they had to treat her like a baby. That's not a way of living. Yeah, yeah. It's not a way of living. So, again, you know, it hurt, you know, with my grandmother, but understand, you know, at the end of the day, <laughs> we're all going to die. Very true. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, I get it. If I see somebody younger than me pass away, I say that's a waste because he still had a, that person still had a lot of life to live. You know what I'm saying? Uh, 93 or close to 100, you know, mid 80s, you know, I lived a good life. Jerry Definitely. passed away weeks ago. He lived a good life. You know what I'm saying? So I applaud them for their contribution to their individual sports. You know what I'm saying? No, yeah. definitely agreed. Agreed. Definitely yeah. agreed. Now I'm, yeah. I'm laughing at uh, normal guy and Joseph, the the two regulars here, who always seem to be conversing <laughs> among themselves. <laughs> yeah, it was funny because normal guy just said the hello before Joseph even showed up. That's, that's the commitment. Just knowing, now he's gonna show up eventually. Yeah. But, uh, what's going on, Joseph? What's going yeah. on? For real, that's that's why I was laughing. But uh, all good. All good. Uh, I mean, it is what it is now. Like, basketball's over. Yeah. Baseball is still not even at the halfway mark. Nope. You know, uh, football pretty much completed mini camps. So they have a week of what, a month off before um, training camp and stuff like that. So. For lack of a better word, the next month is going to be very dire for all sports fans. Unless you unless you are a fanatic baseball fan, the the, the pickings are slim. Cause yeah. let's cut the crap. Yeah, the end of uh, WNBA is not doing it. Sorry. <laughs> Come on, man. After that whole combo we had, you not they didn't draw you in. Bro, they already projected to lose $25 million. 
God. Anywhere else, this Damn. this that organization will be bankrupt. Right now, I don't want to hear any WNBA players say anything. You guys are literally living on the backs of the NBA. All right? You're living on the backs of men. Because if it wasn't for the men uh, subsidizing your league, there would be no WNBA. And this, uh, is there not, you go. this is not a macho rant or whatever. No. Those are facts. Oh, it's very true. Very true. Uh, Joseph brings up uh, Olympic trials, Euro leagues, WNBA right now. Oh, and the NHL Stanley Finals. Joseph, not not for nothing. The Stanley Finals is pretty much over. Yeah. yeah. I, I mean, Florida is up. No, they only need to win one more game. I think they up three two because I think Edmonton won. I think the other day. So I, I, I'm sorry. Yeah, Olympic, uh, Olymp, uh, the Olympic trials. Yeah, I, I'm sorry. I'm like most guys and most people. I would say that we don't watch Olympic trials. We watch the Olympics. Yeah, yeah. I was, I was looking it up. Yeah, um, you know what I'm saying? yesterday most, was most Oilers. Of us don't really give a fuck of who goes to the Olympics as long as it's the best of the best of the best. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? and unless you follow. <laughs> uh, unless you follow, you know, gymnastics, you know, because, you know, your your, your family members in, uh, is a gymnast or something like that, the average fan don't know shit about gymnastics. Nope. We don't know. Uh, all I know is one of my cousins does it, and she's still just, like, getting into it now. That's about it. So, um, yeah, that, I know it. they can flip. I know they can fly. That's, that's about it. It's like, hey. Yo, let I know. me tell you something. <laughs> let me tell you, uh, gymnasts, yeah. especially on the men's side, like we see the wearing them, them tight to the whatever, those are literally some of the strongest individuals you will ever fucking meet. No, I, I give it to them, man. Like, especially um, being in wrestling, you learn a lot about people that were formerly gymnasts, and you see just how they have such better control of their bodies than most. Oh, yeah. Like, I give Those it to me, them. Like, I mean, I know growing up, we laughed at, at, at guys who wanted to be on the cheerleading squad and all that shit. But those guys literally are pretty much stronger than some of the guys on the football team. Yeah, man. Nah, you look at, you again, you look at how they can control their bodies. You, well, you look, look at how the flexibility. These girls up in the end. Now, mind you, these girls are, what, a, a, a buck something or whatever. Yeah. To be able to throw somebody in the air and catch them, you know, hold them straight with one hand. You know, that takes a lot of strength, core strength, and, and you know, all kinds of strength. And to be able to do that, again, they have to be at a, such a still position, too. Because if they move, again, anyone gets off balance, that's it. So it's yeah. like, it's very, it's again, it's a lot of discipline, a lot of that. So much, much, uh, much respect to all of them. Right. But, uh, but at the end of the day, unless you are a friend or family of some uh, of a gymnast, we don't know what we're looking at until we in the Olympic unless unless until the Olympics is here. Correct. We, let's 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 be real. We're not looking at oh, you know that person was real good. Like I remember, <laughs> had the tryouts. It's like yeah, yeah. I remember yeah. growing up. You know what I'm saying? It's called the balancing beam. I remember mad a lot of people couldn't even know didn't even know what the fuck a balancing beam is. Yep. Yeah. And I was like, yeah, you know that thing that. Sorry about that. Oh, good. Yeah, fucking all of a sudden I got a prop about for my for my laptop. But you, I was like, yo, you know that thing that people, you know, that you know, you see the girls, you know, like walk on and do flips on or whatever. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a balancing beam, people. <laughs> like the the contraction that that has the two, I don't know, like rails or harnesses on them. It's called a horse. Fucking knew it was called a horse. Really? Yeah, it's called like a iron I horse. I know called. that. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I know. I know about the balancing beam. I did not know about the horse. Okay. Yeah. Really? Well then, we're learning. We're learning every day, folks. We're learning. I mean, I again, I only know some shit because I bleed. 
And by, by those people who don't know what bleed means is that I get bored very easily, so I watch a lot of stupid shit. Got you. I got All you. Right? All right, there's a reason why, if you ask Le, me and him are probably the only individuals who have watched Iron Eagle 5. Yes, there is an Iron Eagle 5. I can't. Yeah, see, that look you're giving me? Yeah, there's an Iron Eagle 5. Yes. Um, it, it, it kept going after one. Okay. It kept I'm, going after one. I'm not, I'm not going to lie. I did not know it went past really? one. I watched the first one. I did not know it went past yeah, one. Yeah, there's a two or three or four and a five. Well, <laughs> I'm I'm gonna have to catch up because I did not know this boy. You gonna, like, you gonna try to be like Pokemon, catch them all? I, I'll try, I'll try. Uh, but it's bad enough between between y'all. Sometimes like, okay, cool, yeah, I know this one. Yeah, I know that movie. Y'all say a line. I'm like, where the fuck is that from? Fuck, I've watched that movie. Yeah, man. Some bullshit. But uh, <laughs> it is what it is. But uh, you know what? No more guy brings a a good point. What? What the what's in the water in Kansas City with these Chiefs players? First it was rice, then it was a tackle. I mean, like what the fuck, people? Like I know you guys won a chip, but you know, do what normal people do and go home and fuck a bunch of whores. Or do the do the commercial thing. Go to fucking Disney World. <laughs> that, which player got paid to say this year? Nobody go to Disney World no more. No, no one said it this year. I was like, wait, what happened? When they won the Super Bowl, I was like, no, nothing? No, we don't. Oh, right, they cool. did it that after Tom Brady quit football. <laughs> Damn. I remember they Tom Brady, think- Tom Brady was the last person I ever saw saying, you know what, we're going to Disney World. That's it. I'm not, the last two years, I have not seen anybody say, come on, commercial, say, yeah, oh, hey, uh, Kansas City Chiefs, now that you won the Super Bowl, where are you going? We're going to Disney World. No, that has not happened the last two years. Damn. They, I think they used to pay, like, they used to pay a lot of fucking money for that. But it used to be the thing of, like, oh, yeah, yeah, say this. So, so and-, you, I, I, and I know this is a poor show. So do you think because all the money they're losing with the stupidity going on in Star Wars and Marvel that they don't have the money? Come on, this is I, a cash cow, bro. Bro, I would not be surprised at this point because of that, which I doubt though, because I feel like it's a different, a whole different, um, a whole different game when it comes to their actual like park and all that shit. I doubt it's that. Um, I just I could imagine maybe it's just not as um as uh it doesn't work out money wise for them as it used to because of the 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 loss of certain players and stuff like that. But I don't know. It, it is weird, though, because that used to be the running joke. Like, every parody would be like, oh, yeah, say this at the end or say this or say right. this. And it's like. Yeah, you know I mean, think about it. That was a staple of the, during the Super Bowl, like, the, uh, after the Super Bowl podium speeches by, you know, the, the commissioner and then the head coach and then always the quarterback because the quarterback can be <laughs> can have a bum-ass game or a burger-ass game. That's one. And they'll still be up in the podium, you know, and then the and the MVP. So, and you know, and then afterwards they'll be like, "Hey, you just guys, you guys just won the Super Bowl. Where are you guys going? Huh? We're going to Disney World." Yo, my man, I have not, I have not seen that happen the last two years. <laughs> Maybe that's why Kansas City players are acting out because Disney hasn't come to them asking them if they want to go to Disney World or not. <laughs> that's what it is. Yo, if they would have gone to Disney World, they couldn't get arrested. Wait no, that's that's a lie. But I'm just saying it would have been. <laughs> so Joseph, no, you're right. They these guys need better people around them. They do. They definitely do. Right, this is why. You know, I, I tell people shit out. You know, and you know, Les known me for over 20 years. You know, don't ask me for something because I'm gonna give you the truth. I'm not a yes man. I'm gonna give you the truth. I'm gonna be blunt with you. And, and some of these kids, they need that guy that's going to be like, nah, nigga, don't do that shit. You know, some old guy that pops up, my man, that's five to ten. You know, like somebody who's going to let them know the consequences. Instead of somebody who's going to be like Chappelle, well, nigga, sometimes you got to do what you got to do. Facts, nah, you, can't you, gotta... have those, you can't have those kind of guys in your corner when you're making millions of dollars. Now, mind you, Rice was like a fifth-round draft pick. So his contract is not that crazy. Yeah. And you was a rookie. 
you know, if the Chiefs cut you, they're not losing a lot of money. You know, uh, the, this guy Isaiah, you no, know, Bugs or whatever his name is. Like, my man. My man, you broke into your baby mama's house with a with a, a, a iron tie or whatever. A tie iron, yeah. Yeah, tie iron. Jesus, you know? and he dragged her down the fucking stairs? God damn, yo, that's it. His, now, mind he's you, done. Ray, Ray Rice got kicked out the league, you know, for cold cocking his, 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 his wife, and his wife took him back. You know, they never separated. This man it did this to the the baby of his baby, uh, the baby, the, to the mother of his baby, uh, of his baby, and I yeah. can guarantee you they weren't together. Nope. She's not forgiving you. <laughs> I doubt. I doubt the league's gonna fucking forgive this. That's it. He's done. Like, bro, how do you? I, I don't know, but I don't know. That shit. And is like wild. my man LT said, which brings me to my next point: Don't do drugs. Yeah. That is legit the the best thing I could say at this point. Cause like, god damn, to do some stupid shit like that, um, man. Again, Bro, I, I, look, they should have gone to Disney drag World. Racing, drag racing is as bad as it is, and then you instead of <laughs> you're caught, and instead of you taking ownership, you ran from the law. You know, they put a they put a warrant out for your arrest, Rice. Wait a second. Price, so, wait, up. he ran for drag racing? Yeah. Oh, come on, man. Like, it's not. Oh. They, 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 they caught him doing like a hundred and something, and then he abandoned the, the, his, his car. Jesus. Like, he left it on the street. He abandoned it. <laughs> so, you, right there, you're running from the law. So, you just compound it. Oh, yeah, you're done. Yeah, whatever you're done. else, whatever you did, you just made that worse. This other motherfucker. Decides to go to his baby mother's house with a tire iron, drag her down the stairs. Allegedly, I'm gonna say allegedly. Yeah. I haven't seen any video of it, so it's, we're gonna say allegedly. Yeah, we gotta. But you gotta say that. Good. No, no, definitely not. <laughs> but uh, damn, what, did, what? What the fuck did he think? He's like, yo, I seen too many Fast and the Furious movies. I got this. And we gonna get the fuck out of here. Like, nah, man. Like, you probably he probably would have been better off if they would have fucking just stopped him. He probably would have gotten off fucking it easier would, than fucking have a war. It would it would have been better off for him had he. Luckily, this is not a Henry uh, Henry Rudd situation where you killed somebody. Yeah. He's lucky. Yeah. But it's like, yo, guys, this there's, there's been people who have done this in the past. And it hasn't worked out well for them. No, definitely not. Like, why would you do it? You know what I'm saying? And and I know that the majority of incoming NFL rookies are taken to like a seminar where they're taught, hey, if you're at a party and you are drunk, call this number. Somebody will pick you up. You know what I'm saying? Hey. You know, there's a lot of women out there that will take advantage of you. Make sure you always carry condoms. Like who I forget which was the player that said it was like, yo, no, they they legit do that. Yeah. Because remember in the in the in the in the late nineties and the early two thousands, they had a lot of players catching the DWIs. Yep. You know what I'm saying? So they're like, yo, let's teach these kids what to do and what not to do. So I, I don't. Maybe Rice was asleep that day. Maybe he played hooky like we did last Thursday. Who knows? No, man. It definitely again. Yeah, it's, it's one of those situations. But it's like, man. Now, now there's no excuse, especially in the age now that it's fucking. There's ride share services like a motherfucker. Right. There's so many things now, right. so many options that it's like, yo. Even, um, and again, I know it's the sports, but like, yo, JT just got caught that way. Fucking Justin Timberlake. Got caught with a DWI, and when? then they find uh, what was it? When when did he get caught with that? I, I want to say it was over the weekend, but the issue is that now oh, they found there, even more. Dinero. Bro, they caught him with more shit in the system, so they just call him thinking that it was an alcohol charge, and then now they're finding like other fucking like 
hard uh hard narcotics on him. So he's yeah, this is uh there goes that instinct tour that everyone was hoping for. My man, he 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 maybe he did this shit on purpose. Maybe he just doesn't want to fucking do the instinct tour. I, I don't know what it was, man, but it's like, yo, again, I don't get these situations, man. Like there's so many so many fucking options now, man. There's Uber, there's Lyft. There's fucking again having, especially when you're in that situation where I get it. Maybe for the rookies, that's a little difficult to be like, hey, having like a driver or some shit. Well, but what are people it, that are now making happened. millions? You know, the NFL noticed that a lot of their players are coming from bad situations. And by bad situation, meaning a lot of the players are coming from the ghetto. You know what I'm saying? So. They had to teach. They have to teach these kids how to. You do realize that, and I don't know if a lot of people realize this, but you know, up until many years ago, a lot of ex-football players are broke. Yeah. Because they don't know how to manage their money. You know what I'm saying? Why? Because they come from nothing. So, you know, when you come from nothing, and you give people millions of dollars. Yeah, millions of dollars, millions of dollars. Yeah, right? you know what I'm saying. It, you know they they they're going to go splurge. <laughs> they they're going to go buy shit. They're going to think that they can do whatever the fuck they want because they got some money. You know what I'm saying? It, it it's it's tough. You know, but in, in today's age, it looks like the 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 Chiefs want to take the bad boy moniker that the cowboys have had for the last 20 years yeah because you know the, the the old joke was oh he has a record jerry uh jerry jones will sign him yeah <laughs> you know and <laughs> the last couple of years it, it looks like uh you know the, the chiefs are trying to out outdo the cowboys Jeez. in the category you, sh- you don't want to do that you don't want to do that no nah, definitely not especially again with this scenario of fucking a lot of this shit Look at that fucking look at that normal, normal guy, guy brings it up. It. Yeah, Bill Romanowski had a file for bankruptcy. Jesus, man. No, and again, that is that is the issue that a lot of these when it comes to athletes and all that, that they they almost think money is indispensable at that point. That's why that's why I keep telling people said you wanna you wanna follow somebody as an athlete, follow Shaq. Yeah, man. Yo, Shaq has shown you the right, you know what it is. And Shaq said it best, though. When it comes to all this, when it comes to his presentation, when it comes to how he is, he made sure all this was to protect his mother's image. Even when it came to money. When it came to money, that's like, nope. He's making sure he takes care of all of that. Right. Look and at the guy. Look at his look at the investments he does. Look at all everything. He has, he has well, I don't know what he's gonna do with the NBA thing anymore because you know, TNT's losing that contract. Uh, but I mean, he's he's bought into like five or six different franchises. Yeah. You know, when when the scandal happened with Papa John's, he bought a Mar- a Maori steak, majority steak in Papa John's. Yep. You know what I'm saying? So he yep. has a couple of Papa John's location. I think he has a couple of Popeyes location. Yo, this is why the joke is, yo, Shaq at this point is just con- like completing side quests. Like, Sheen is like a video game. Because at one point, I think he has fucking, like, stake in so many businesses. I think Five he's, Guys is another one. Yeah, he's an official DJ because he actually fucking got his shit to be a DJ. Well, you know, he's, he tried to, he tried his hip-hop career. Yeah, I got his CD. Yeah, that's how old I am. I have his CD, all right? Hey, I, man. I, it's, cool, okay? I, I thought he was, I thought he was all right, man. He, he was all right some, fucking... Some of, the, some, of, some of the songs are cool. What's up, Rock? And... I, What's up, Doc? And I rock. It's actually pretty, pretty cool. You know what hey, I'm saying? He was, he was a good rapping genie. That's all I can say, man. He was a good rapping. No, that, that movie was horrible. That movie Yo, was goddamn horrible. You didn't like the movie? Kazam? No. Okay, it might have been because I was a fucking kid when I watched it. That's, that might have been. Watch, that watch it now. I, I, you know watch what? It now. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a watch it again one and of these if days. You make the past ten minutes, call me. <laughs> 
I'm a, I'm gonna try to give it a watch. Maybe it's just a story. Like I felt bad for the kid in the movie. Maybe that's what it is. I think that's, that's what it is. We all feel cat feel bad for the for the kid in the movie because that that's the the majority of us. You know, right. with single mothers or something like that. So yeah, we all feel bad for the kid, but fuck him too. <laughs> Oh shit! If, like if, if I was to be teaching my son or my daughter, damn! Was, and, so he got he's invested in Lyft, Jay Z, Penny, and Krispy Kreme. Yeah. God damn! Oh damn! I just bought some Krispy Kreme. There you go, Shaq. There's my there's so my twenty like, something dollars. Like, like like that ass. If I would tell somebody, yo, if this is who you want to follow, yeah. you know that way you can uh, you are uh, always continuously making money. Oh, and again, he he's continuing, and he's it's something where his investments are making him better money. I, mean, the only, it's, it's I think the all only thing that, I think the only thing they never sold for him was his sneakers. Yeah, unfortunately. But shit, I rocked the, I rocked the pair once. I remember I walked the pair once because they were good fucking wide sneakers. It wasn't about the look because they weren't like the best looking sneakers, but they were comfortable. Like I, that's my thing when it comes to sneakers. If they fucking fit right, man, as long as they don't look fucking I mean, like let, crazy let's, shitty. Let's cut the crap. Back in the 90s and early 2000s, Reeboks were, make, were, were making good sneakers. Yeah. yeah. Now, as a matter of fact, I don't even know if Reebok is making sneakers now. Um, Exactly. <laughs> I, I had to think about it. I I believe they do, but I'm not too sure. I think I, I, I think they do, but still. Yeah, it's still like, it's not the most uh, sought after, if, if that's the best way to put it. Yeah. Um, yeah, normal guy. Say, yeah. No, normal guy made a point. Trevor Lawrence got paid a couple of weeks ago. You want to laugh, normal guy? You want to really want to laugh? Look up his stats versus Daniel Jones. Almost identical. Jesus. Almost identical. So, yeah, you got. I, I mean, I, I know coming out of Clemson, he was considered a Matt. A, 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 uh, can't miss prospect, but oof. I, I don't know. I, I don't know. If maybe that first year under that head coach fucked him up or some shit. And Ray, I'm gonna ask you to stop looking down at the booty pics that you're oh, No, I'm trying to find us more stories to talk about. That's what I'm doing right now. <laughs> it's the first time I gotta. I'm like, wait, what else is happening? And All I just, right, so I just even, noticed something that was interesting. Even though you set it up, I can give you stories. <laughs> you don't need a look. I, I, you, I can give you stories, bro. What are the uh, Yankees? What are the Yankees going to do if Soda does not resign? Ah, uh, fuck. You remember they traded for him. Yeah. He has yet to sign the contract. He said he pulled the Aaron Judge. He said, "No, I'm not signing this contract. I'm going to, I'm going to bet on myself." And look at the kind of year he's having. Yeah. It. You, you think the Yankees are gonna pay six hundred million dollars for Soto? I, I feel like we're in a we're in a situation where we might have to. Like I, I think th- this is what sucks about it because they they bet on singular players a lot of times, and then when it comes to this, it's like, well, now you got to pay up. And they've done it before because it always ends up being that situation because they did the same shit with with A Rod. That was like, yo, we're gonna invest fucking money. Yeah. Uh, no, 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 nothing happened to Aaron Judge. He's he was hurt at the beginning of the season, but now he's he's killing it. Yeah. And, and, and funny thing is, now Soto, Soto got hurt. So, man, that's the thing. It's like it's always conveniently around like contract negotiations that it's like, yo, we're about to pay you all this money, and you're not even gonna play when we give you the money. Like, uh, but, I mean, but I think Soto, I think his thing is like a a strained forearm or something like that. So. Yeah. He's they having him DH yep. to play the field, so I mean it's not like he's missing a lot of time. Um, okay, got you, got you, got you. Remind you, the Yankees are in first place, yep. and they're killing it, and they have a couple of good young pitchers. Garrett Cole has yet to pitch this season. <laughs> he's still rehab. He's still he's still coming back from injury. Yep. Now, uh, which. Gary Cole, are we going to see though? Because if he goes back to his form, you know what I'm saying, where he's dominant, does that make the Yankees the automatic favorites to win the World Series? 
I, biasly, I want to say yeah, <laughs> but it, it's it's. I, I guess it's gonna be a wait and see, because it's one of those where anyone coming off injury, coming off that, it's like we we'll see, we'll see how he if he comes into this. Is it the mental game? Because that's usually the issue. A lot of times, it's not even the injury anymore. It's just the mental of am I playing the same? How am I coming into this? And we'll see from there. But I'm hoping so, man. We fucking need a win because I want to be able to say, hey, yeah, we got another win here instead of fucking when we try to rub it in people's faces about our fucking World Series wins. And it's like 27 rings. Yeah, I won number 28. <laughs> yeah. It's like, but the thing is, it's like, yeah, we can say 27. And then they fucking bring up, when was the last time y'all won? It's like, motherfucker, shut the fuck up. At least we got 27. 2007. Yeah, shit, man. But that's okay. We got 27 championships. The Yankees got 27 championships. The most championships in any sport. Yeah. I think the closest per the closest of the team maybe got like 13 or 14. So you you know what I'm saying? So yeah, yeah, I can say 27 all day long. (laughs) We're doing all right. I think we're doing all right. Um Joseph, Philly's better. All right, I don't know what you're drinking or what you're smoking. But uh, yo, pass some of that over here, cause that's that's some good stuff. Philly ain't no better. Come on now, come on, stop the bullshit. Um, but let's go cross town. Got you. Do the Mets give up on this season and start trading away all these players? Um, cause they they've already they've already taken offers for uh, Alfonso. Yeah. I I think the Mets might need to reboot in a sense cuz I don't know man last year it felt like they were on that point of like you know what I couldn't even talk shit. Like last year I felt like they were a good team. It was working out. It, they they had something. I I don't know what it is, man. I don't know what it is. Um but they might they might need to reboot it. They might need to just Try to well round their team here, get something that they can could be in somewhat contention. Not saying they're gonna be able to win it as quick uh with this, but at least to get something, you know. I but. think I, th- I think the Mets problem nowadays is they have no farm system. Yeah. It's like they're they they sign players, but they have no young great talent coming up yeah I, I'm, I, I might be mistaken but the last great young talent I remember them having was Jose Reyes yeah man which is again how long ago was that? that's, that's early 2000s baby. Holy shit man shit I still have his autograph somewhere <laughs> when I was in when I randomly met him in Miami for some reason um yeah so, but, um, right, 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 right. But you got a whole bunch of baby mamas up here. <laughs> now you going to Miami too? No, and wait. baby mamas down there. Yo, come on, Ray. Time out. I was I was like five when I went to Miami. So there was, was no you baby mama. that early? I, I did not start that early. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. That would have... I, that's why I say I need to go to Miami again because now I know what the fuck I'm doing when I go to Miami. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. That, that needs to be our next. That's oh, it. Knucklehead road the trip. Strip club. Going <laughs> to the strip club. Knucklehead trip to Miami. We out. Oh, that's um, not. That's, that's, not, that's a bad. That, I don't think it's going to be a good idea. <laughs> we're saying it needs to be a good idea. It's just going to be memories. That's it. Today's gonna, a fucking gonna day. Be, it's going to be a great time. <laughs> it might let me. A good idea. <laughs> hey man, no one, no one's got no uh, hey. Yankees losing currently. Ah, damn, we losing to the Orioles, guys. I damn. mean, that's the one game. I mean, the Orioles are the second team in the in the American League, so yeah. it's not like the old school Orioles where they were in the bottom of the league. I think they're they're in second place or something like that. But um, gotcha. all jokes aside, I I, re- I really do think it's time for the Mets to blow it up. Yeah. Um, you know, I, I mean, they have a high payroll too. You know what I'm saying? It's not like, 
they, they, like it's not like they're the Oreos or something like that where they have a low, you know. Speaking of blowing it up, babies. <laughs> Shit, fuck Boston, fuck Justin Timberlake if he don't want to be in the, the fucking uh, instant <laughs> concert. And fuck Jason Tatum with his drinking champagne victory ass motherfucker. That was the New York Knicks celebration. The New York Knicks has just won a fucking NBA championship. I don't give a shit what anybody fucking says. Ryan Garcia kiss a dick. Yo, what's going on, So What's up, my guy? We live, baby. Everybody, yo, happy Juneteenth. I know Ray ain't say it. Oh, He's too busy. He's too busy fucking um, talking about happy women's international fucking day. It's Juneteenth out here. You think Martin Luther the King had a dream so we wouldn't celebrate Juneteenth? My my bad. That, 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 that. I got a collar shirt on, Hoach. Oh shit! Look at it's, that. It's real out here. Hold up! Hold, hold up! Hold up! Hold up! Hold up! Hold up! Hold the fuck up. Um. So. How was the date? It it was my my cousin's birthday party. We had a funeral for her twenties, which that's I was the only that, one that dressed the, up for a fucking funeral. Is that what we're calling it now? Yes. Okay. Wait a second. Talk about talk about talk about. Is that that might be a tone the show show combo? But fuck it. Is that a thing now? Because I keep seeing that. Like my boy did that shit yesterday. Why are people doing funerals for their twenties? I don't know. Like I also I, I got getting drunk in my twenties. Like yo, I got I got that technically means I got three years left. Does that mean my I got to plan a fucking funeral for my twenties? I mean, you got kids already, so you just, <laughs> it's all downhill from there. No, well, I just you know, I just he said we got, when he was five years old when he was in Miami. Yeah, I noticed. I, I saw the documentary on Ray. <laughs> it all started when I met Jose Reyes, and he told me, "I said." These are the keys to the city. That's Have it. Home. See, Have it home. all fucked up because he was supposed to be in sanitation and he went to the sanitarium. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, shit, really, man. Really, she, she had a funeral for her birthday party? Well, that's what they said, yeah. but I was the only dick that, that dressed up like that. Everybody else was wearing regular clothes. Well, he still, it, it was, still it works out, man. Like, like what? Things. No, it's a, it's a polo. Why not? It's, it's, it's got the collar. Got you good. So let me. So let me get this right. You were the only one that went along with her shit. It was a surprise party, so it was her sister's shit. Ah. Oh. Okay, but the theme. She wanted it. The she theme was the, was the death of her twenty. Yeah. All right. All right. So I'm gonna try to be respectful. <laughs> But you know that's not some when that's not one of my things here. When you say I'm gonna try to be respectful, we know where it's going. <laughs> it's kind of like saying with all due respect. <laughs> all right. It's like I don't mean to offend. But I'm what offend. in the goddamn blue fucking hell possesses people to want to have a funeral for their twenties? Are they fucking stupid? I don't know. Yeah, Yo, be honest my, with you. my 20s, I'm sorry if some, this offends anybody, but in my 20s, I was getting drunk and getting my dick wet. I mean, I just don't have the, the baby, the kids like Ray does. <laughs> all right? But, I mean, that's all I was thinking about in my, in my 20s. Drinking, yeah. having fun with my boys, and trying to get my dick wet. I wasn't planning, <laughs> oh... This is the this is my last year in my twenties. I gotta plan a, a funeral for my twenties. Yeah, I think that might be a new thing. I think that's a a modern thing because again, I saw that yesterday with my boy, and I was like, "Wait, what? We now do funerals for our twenties? I'm like, do motherfuckers realize that people die all the goddamn time? Yeah. To me, to me, that's mocking death. Well, what? Well, yeah. I don't know. Maybe they think that it, it symbolizes that they're not a child anymore and they're growing into their adulthood. And yeah, which let's I get that, but that means crap. party you, party into your thirties. Let's let's cut the crap. If you grew up in New York City, your childhood pretty much ended when you were ten years old. Yeah. You know, and no disrespect to anybody listening to us from any any other part of the world. In in New York City, by the age you were ten, you, you, that's it. You were grown. Yeah. You had to be. You had to travel the bus by yourself. You had to walk to school by yourself. 
you know, what, uh, you know, what, either one or both of your parents were already working, right? You had to you had to learn how to use a condom by yourself. Ray never learned how to do that. No, he didn't. Uh, so let's not say that because that's. That just leads to a lot of fucked up situations. Ray, God you got like two hundred and forty-six. You heard that, Hodge? Two hundred. Correction. Last time we checked, yeah. last Thursday when we played hooky, the count yeah. was two hundred and fifty baby mamas. Yep. All right. Hey, I thought I thought some of those came back because Lay said no, 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 I was no. at like two thirty-nine, so no, apparently no, no, some no, of those no. DNA. You want came. them to come back? No, 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 no. There's two hundred and fifty baby mamas. That was last Thursday, Jeez. so the the count got to be like at two sixty now. <laughs> Word. God damn. But yo, did you hear what his confession was, Hutch, just now? What? He only wears a condom for the ugly bitch. <laughs> what? <laughs> he just in between, said that. In between <laughs> what? When did I say that? He goes, I know how to use a condom. It's just uh, not all the time. <laughs> <laughs> I, so I, so, I so know that's I, what that, that means? Was, that, was, that was the sol- so that was the, the, the submitter, but, but the, oh, I can't even fucking say it. <laughs> Blimino. I'm not. I'm trying not to laugh. Yes, that. That's the message behind it. Oh. I see how it is, Ray. Oh my God! Not again, normal guy says it should, it should be between two seventy and three hundred. Jesus. Damn. When do I again? When when is there time for this? Like. This whole week I've been you podcasting. When the fuck did I have you time? You only to need fifteen minutes. Fifteen minutes. <laughs> Bust one out and keep it moving. Well, if, if 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 you listen to what they said in Greece, it only takes fifteen seconds. That's true. <laughs> Yo, Greek, bad. Hey, listen. I'm only not only I'm going to give you some sports. I, I'm I'm gonna give you some old school movies too. So, but uh, oh shit. I, I'm listening. Man. Look, look. Truthfully, Joe says it right. You know, he, the second I blinked, my twenties flew by. Yeah, so, I was having I was having fun. I was not trying to think of fucking <laughs> planning <laughs> stupidity. Yo, it's my birthday. We going to the bar. We out. Yeah, that, that was, was it. it. No, it's one of those you said. It fucking flies by. If you know me, if you know me, I'm not a club kind of person. Simply because I can't deal. I can't deal with these idiots that go to clubs. There'd be some pendejos, man. Be some I mean, pendejos. I'm sorry. If you if your dance floor, if the club dance floor is a is a you no know, a ten by ten squared space, that's gonna be st- you're gonna stomp on other people's feet. It's a yeah. divot. Yeah. 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 So I'm let good. it go. I'm good. I'd rather go to a bar, just have you some know, drinks, do right. that shit. It's that not I'm my talking. fault that your bitch keeps looking at me. That's not my fault. Yo, that that's it. Might be my fault because I'm the one telling her to look at you. <laughs> <laughs> yo, that situation is always funny because I'm like, yo, I man, um, I, listen, man, I got I got bad luck every time I go to a club. I got at least one girl with her man that be looking at me, and I'm like, yo, don't look at me because I'm not fighting for you. I'm not. Oh shit. I mean, there's very few females in this world I will fight for. <laughs> If you're not my blood, I'm not fighting for you. Sorry. <laughs> but he will send her back in a in a taxi that she pays for. That's right. <laughs> Holy shit. Um, Go wait, back to your know. man. You can't stay here. <laughs> nah, man. Nah, but, bam, bam. Thank you, man. Nah, but yeah, this, like I said, I, I, I spend my time, you know, Hanging with my boys at the bar, at a bar, just drinking. I mean, that's just like with so many things you can do for your birthday. I can't believe this is a thing now. But then again, in this society, up is down, right is left. Yeah. I mean, I remember, have... remember when the gender reveals was like that? Yeah. Now it's almost like you can't have a baby without a gender reveal. The only one I know successfully do it is Ray. Yo, imagine having to do that many fucking parties. Because when did that... Okay. And again, this, this sounds like a, a tone of the show show discussion, but fuck it. We're we doing it here on Wednesday. Um, 
Why is that a thing right that no now more. you got to do like three parties? It used to be you do the baby shower. Everything will be there. Now it's like you got to do the baby shower. You got to do the uh, the gender reveal. reveal. Yep, yep. And then there's another thing they do now that now like this generation does because they do it for TikTok like crazy. I can't remember what the other party is. Well, see, that's the problem. They do it for TikTok. It's like, yo. And then it's like you have to do these crazy fucking reveals for it. Then I say like either with the with the um, with the different fireworks or this or that or fucking yeah, and like, I've seen I've seen a couple of those have gone wrong. Like yo, yo, I want my my general reveal is we're gonna hire somebody, we're gonna shoot him. If he stays alive, boy. If he dies, girl. <laughs> um, remind remind us not to get hired by Toe to do this scenario. Oh, <laughs> The only one I liked that just because of the wrestling shit that they've hired guys like, yo, we're going to work a match. One guy's representing the girls. One guy's representing the boys. I have them fucking work. Yeah. No more guys just disposed. There you go. Yeah, yeah, bro. That's just fun. That's a, that's a cool idea. Even though that knowing how much this shit costs, like, nah, fuck yeah. We're going to do it the old fashioned way. Cut a cake I've, and have I've the cake it. have the color. As a- I, I've seen it where like they have it like in the balloon. And they give the balloon to like a little kid, and the little kid yeah. lets it go. <laughs> yo. And then yo. Every, and then everybody's upset. And I'm like, why'd you give the big loop but the big ass balloon to a fucking little kid? Yeah, facts. Yeah, yo, I, I tell you one thing. You want to really have a gender party, like a traditional one? Wait until the, the kid turns 19, gets drunk, and starts flashing the cops. You'll find out what gender that motherfucker is. <laughs> Shit, yeah. and it's for free. Nah, but listen, man, I, I I don't. I just don't get it. You know, yeah. you know, like you can do the cake thing. That's it. That's all you need to really do, bro. That's that's legit. It, and also, again, doing it in one scenario of fucking or or like my oh. cousin. My cousin had a baby shower this past Saturday, and everybody's like, "Oh, do you know the the, the sex of the child?" And they're like, "No, we're we're waiting till they actually be born to find out." You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm okay with that. I don't need no elaborate fucking setup to find out if it's a boy or girl. And to be honest with you, that baby should be a virgin. Shouldn't be having sex at this age. <laughs> Yo. That, but that, that true. should be the thing. Very Just true. fucking wait. Just fucking Very wait. True. Shit, apparently. Because <laughs> sometimes you can't even fucking find out. Well, Because Yo. sometimes they fucking, like, you can't tell. Yeah, but I tell you, I tell you, the real reason why all this shit is happening now is because so because everybody's so um, separated from social media. Like since we talk on social media all the time, we never have to see each other. Yeah, they're so separated that they need excuses to see each other. And now it's like, yo, I'm we giving birth. Oh, it's the, the the baby shower. I haven't seen you in forever. Well, we just found out the sex of the baby. Why don't we throw a party? Have everybody come to we eat and all that, and then you can tell us the sex of the baby. All right, yeah. Oh, it's it's uh, it's been what eight months since she was pregnant. It's the baby's birth, uh, pregnancy continuata. You know, we got to do another party for that. No, yep. no, and in situations like that, I I don't I that I understand. That's one of those where it's like, hey, sometimes you got to find those ways, especially then when you're already having kids. That's like sometimes you need the excuse to throw a party, you know, so that way you can see people you haven't seen in a minute, you haven't been able to do stuff with, because that changes. That changes everything. Unfortunately, at times. Listen, Once those I'm, kids I'm, come I'm in okay. order, I'm okay with something them. like that. Like, like I said, in my cousin's baby shower, I ran into a couple of cousins I haven't seen in a while. You know, that's cool. Yeah. But I don't need three different fucking birth uh, fucking parties to fucking for for a fucking child. No, it's one 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 party is is good. That's it. Word, yeah. especially if the kid is not here yet, like. It's like, come on, we're doing this, we're doing this, we're doing this. Just do the baby shower. We cut the cake. On the when you fucking cut the cake, you figure out, oh shit, it's a boy. Oh shit, it's a girl. Congratulations. Now people can buy the gifts that they want to get. Yo, if you think about it, we gotta hang out two more times because we had the, the, the steak reveal party. Yep. Where we found out it was steak. Yep. Now we gotta have the, the, the steak uh shower. Yep. And then the birth of the of the steak. No, no, no. The last one is the is the cookie, the, the cookie party. Yeah, the cookie part. Well, the oh, first yeah. one should have been the cookie part. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah, we I all mean, know you know, you're working backwards, Ray. No, Unless you're trying to make another fucking 
I mean, you I want the cake. Party. Yeah, yeah. I want the cake. Hey, yeah. then we start. Then we start all over again. So we want a rib. So we want a steak. So yo, Hodge, I'm telling you, man. I told the guys. I'm like, yo, that should have been your. You, she, she, she set it up for you, man. All you had to be like was, yo, you gotta make one of these cakes personally just for me. And she set it up right there for you, my guy. I mean, it, it, it was, you know what I'm saying. But then somebody tried to steal my thunder. Mm-hmm. Right. What? Mm-hmm. How? I stayed quiet. I stayed I heard, quiet that I whole heard, time. I heard Lego shit. We're going to have to have to move you out of Queens. And, and Ray was like, this is a very good uh, cake. I like it. I always come here and get it. And she's like, oh, yeah, I got to go. Uh-huh. And then she wow. took me to Cookie Girl and said, see, I told you he was trying to fuck all of us. <laughs> Even the hostess. Mm-hmm. No, but uh, before we went, we went off track. Uh, we were talking, we were talking about, about the Mets. Yeah, uh, do yeah. you think they yeah. need to blow the team up? I, the team, I don't think so. I, yo, the, I think the Mets and the Jets have something wrong in the staff. Like, there, there's, there's got to be some kind of disease in the staff that's just destroying us because we got the players. But the, the the Mets have had in the last, I would say, twenty to thirty years, no. two different owners. And a bunch of different GMs, and it seems like they always have the same issues. Do you think maybe they need to move out of fucking Queens? I mean, where would they go? The Brooklyn. <laughs> nah, man, we can't have Brooklyn no more. Brooklyn got the Nets. Look what they did to the Nets. <laughs> No, nah, but all jokes aside, like this is a this is an organization that, even though they've won a, a couple of World Series or whatever, they seem to underperform. Yeah, always. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like a couple of years ago, they're like, "Oh, this team is very good," then they stunk, and then this year. They're, they were, well, according to a lot of people, they're off to a bad start. And they're, they're already shopping their first basement. But like I like I told Ray, I did a little digging. I, I don't see any any uh, good up-and-coming people in their farm system. So did they try to, did they trade all their good farm system uh, players away and trade it for stars and those that are over the hill? Because... I know that's a met thing because I've seen they have seen I've seen them do that a lot where they trade away young players for veterans who are over the hill. It's like they forget to focus on that. Like, hey, have that crop. That you gotta crop. have a mix. Yeah, you have to have a mix. You know, and Ray, I know you went dark again because you're talking to baby numbers. Was it two sixty one? I love how the number just keeps changing as the episode progresses. Two sixty eight. Two sixty eight. Jesus, how we go up eight? Yeah, it is, it's two sixty eight. Yeah. No, no, it was always two sixty eight. But the number he's talking to is two sixty eight. Oh. Two sixty one was when I was driving in. Gotcha. See. Yeah, because he he did look down a couple of times on his phone. Mm-hmm. Again, I was trying to find us some stories to talk about. Like apparently, fucking language story. T- Tiger Woods' but- kid is now qualified for one of these tournaments. I mean, so his kid true. now got into the shit. That shit's wild. Now we got to say his kid is just as good as him. I youth. Well, here's the thing, because I know we touched base on this a long a while, a couple of weeks ago. Yeah. A lot of sons and daughters of famous athletes don't like going into the same sport that their parent was good in. So, do you think with his kid, you know, qualifying for the PGA Tour, or whatever? Does he? Does that kid have more pressure on him because he's Tiger Woods' kid? I think he would have if Tiger Woods didn't come back and underperform. Well, now we all know that Tiger Woods hasn't been the same since he fucked up his back. Yeah. You know, so what I'm I think that's giving leeway because the people who watch like this generation of viewership don't know. Last oh, he was? You know what I'm saying? Like they, they don't know last generation sports. 
because they think that LeBron James beat um, a five Hall of Fame team called the Warriors. Yeah. They're not one of the motherfuckers on the Hall of Fame. All of those people still playing today. They're not Hall of Famers. So and out, of, out, of, out of all of them, there's only one that I could, could see becoming a Hall of Famer. Oh, and you know what's funny, Hutch? We actually looked it up. In 91, Jordan beat four Hall of Famers to win his first championship. So, I mean, to win his championship. So, um, Yeah, the Lakers. Yeah. So, I mean, uh-huh. that argument, it, 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 he's, still, he's still got six rings. That's the only argument we need, Fred. Well, you know, the, the argument <laughs> that I was having with somebody was the stat that was wrong. They're saying that he's 6-0 in the finals, but 1-9 in, 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 the, in the first round. And I'm like, that's, com- that's a complete lie. Yeah. Because he was only in the league two years before he got Pippen. So there's no way he got into nine first round fucking series. Yeah. Now his record might have been one win, nine losses in the first round before Pippen, but that just tells you that before Pippen, he still got to the playoffs. Yeah. Now mind you, people, <laughs> do not get it twisted. I fucking hate Jordan. I fucking hate LeBron. They can both go suck a dick. Yeah, I said, a I said it. I said Ray. Don't look. Don't be looking. At, you've heard me say. Huh? I'm gonna do it on my Bernie Mac voice. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> All right. About half of that statement, I could agree with you. The other half, I'm like, damn. Oh, so you only want Jordan to go suck a dick? That's crazy. <laughs> no, 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 no. That's <laughs> fucked up, Ray. But the amount of Jordans I wear, you think I'm gonna say that about Jordan? No. Goddamn. You know, listen, like I said, I, I don't have love for either one. I can respect what they did. I don't mean I got to like them. Fuck you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But I, I, like my, I like facts. You know, those facts were wrong. You know? Yeah. O- other facts was, oh, in Jordan's era, there was nine inspection in, in uh, nine inspection, inspection teams or whatever. Expansion. In, in expansion, yeah. But what people fail to realize is that when LeBron was running through the East, a whole bunch of those teams were worse off than those expansion teams. Yo, he, was, you, he was winning in the East by like 20 games. Like, I remember that, like, the six, seven, and eight seeds in the East when LeBron was running shit had losing records. So don't tell me that LeBron had it tougher because th- there were no expansion teams. It's a lie. He had it easy because the East was watered down. And he played. There, was, there was a mass exit from the East to go to the West. And he played with Shaq. Before Shaq retired, one of his last teams was the Cavs. He played like a season with Shaq. I could win with Shaq. <laughs> I mean, but look, I, like I said, bro, come on now. No, yeah. Don't, 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 don't. I remember, uh, I think uh, Cabs once said it. I can't argue with Hoach. Because Hoach argues with facts. No, I, 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 listen, you can't beat the facts. This, this is not an argument of opinion. This is arguments of facts. Especially because you you can prove all these arguments, the whole Hall of Famers. Like, how many people did LeBron James with to play with that would be future Hall of Famers? The Jordan had pretty much the core five people. You know what I'm saying? Like his first three P and the second three P were what a, a difference of what three four people. Instead of for yep. Horace Grant, he had Rodman. Yep. You know, like and instead, and instead for Bill Carter, he had Luke Longley. Yeah, you know, you know what I'm saying. So it's 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 like he had his team. Now the Warriors, on the other hand, there was the core, whatever people. The only difference was uh, some of their point guards and Kevin Durant. LeBron played, even though he was on the Cavs most of his career, he played on so many different teams, with the different like different people that they they got and all these other people didn't work, and then you know they made the super team with the Heat, which apparently, Hutch. Uh, they were supposed to go to the Knicks, but because no one told the Knicks they wanted to come, the Knicks fucking got a mighty Stoudemire, and they said they don't want to play with Stoudemire, and they went to Miami. I think that's a bunch of bullshit, but hey. Uh, no, that, that's definitely bullshit. 
Because why wouldn't you tell the team that you want to be on that you want to be on? Exactly. Like why wouldn't? Also, you I call, don't. I doubt the Knicks wouldn't want to get them. Like that makes no sense. Like why wouldn't you call the the Knicks? You're, you're LeBron James. I like, mind you, I hate him. I think he's a fucking burger. That's my opinion. What number is that? Two. They haven't, they haven't been a lot of burgers. That's three. Oh. Uh, Come on, Ray. Quick, God damn. Come on, Ray. How is the number so low, Ray? Got to get your numbers up, Ray. They, I'm not the one saying it. It's all, it's all hard. Now, but you got to set him up for this. In, in, in his defense, you know, talking about sports is kind of is going to be kind of scarce. Yeah, you you got to set him up for this, Ray. <laughs> my bad, my bad. Hey, I made the count at least. I figured out hey, this is the best way we can do it at least. I hear you, I hear you. Unless we make pictures up to 30 burgers. <laughs> We're just going to have to keep fucking burger. You know, but, uh, burger. Like I was saying, to me, LeBron, you know, is a burger. Four. But you might as well put five because... Uh, yeah, at this point, it's like, fuck it. Oh, there's a burger right there. <laughs> <on screen. laughs> I got LeBron. <laughs> but if you're, quote, unquote, the best player in the, in the league at that point, and almost every single, you know, not almost, every single team was vying for you to go to them, you're going to say that, oh, I didn't tell the Knicks that I wanted to go there. That's why they didn't give me a contract. Because, yeah, like, also. Like, like, I, I'm sorry, nigga, is you stupid? Yo, also, the, the, the shit is like, you, Dwayne Wade, Chris Bosh, and some other person want to go to the Knicks to play for the Knicks. And y'all didn't tell them. You think the Knicks is just turning around like, yeah, all four of y'all come through. They have to make moves in order for you to fucking fit their salary cap and their and their fucking team roster. Right, but here's the stupidity that I know about it. LeBron and Chris Bosh were the only two free agents. Dwayne Wade was on the contract with Miami when uh, LeBum and and Bosh went to Miami. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So don't tell me that, oh, all three of you guys were going to come to the Knicks because guess what? For Wade to come to the Knicks, the Knicks would have to fucking trade it to, for Wade. Yeah, and... The, the the NBA ain't gonna allow that shit. Exactly. They didn't even want Chris Chris Paul to be on the fucking team with Kobe. Exactly. So so again, let's let's cut the crap on that. Boy. Um, you know what I'm saying? And and Look, and he, also he, he went to Miami. He played with Wade, who sh- who was a future Hall of Famer. He played with Ray Allen, which is a future Hall of Famer. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I mean. When he was with the Cavs, he played with Shaq, who's a Hall of Famer. Yeah, grant, granted, Shaq might have been in the twilight of his career. And, and he might have been close to 300 pounds than he was to his 200-something, you know, solid, what was it, 3% of body fat when he first came in. But he was still Shaq. So, you know, my whole thing is, like, and I know people will be like, oh, you defend Jordan, you like him. No, I, I defend the facts. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? When he went, when LeBron went up against the Spurs in the finals, I'll be truthful. That Cavs team had no business being in the finals. Nah. You know what I'm saying? But again, the East was so watered down that they were the number one seed. So, you 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 ran through the, the through the East, and when you went against a, a, an actual team, you got shellacked. Yeah, and the Spurs was the actual basketball team, especially at that time. They they, they actually they were, played they were, basketball. They were, they were hitting you from all sides. <laughs> yeah, like you want to learn how to play basketball, you watch the Spurs. Right. I mean, but again. You know, not for nothing. When Jordan first won his first chip, nobody really said Pippen was Pippen. Yeah. You know, it's it's stupid to say that one man can do it by themselves because no one can do it by themselves. 
the logo, Jerry West. All right, unless, unless, West. Unless, unless you're toe tags. Yeah. He needed he needed help. Fucking yeah, um Kareem Abdul Jabbar needed help. Right. Magic Johnson needed help. Bird needed help. Bird. Tim Duncan, David Robinson, all these people needed help. The Knicks needed at least one more guy to win a championship with Patrick Ewing and John Starks. Whoa, 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 no, 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 no. We're right there. We're, we're, go back. Go back. With Patrick Ewing. Thank you. John Starks a fucking burger. All right. That's right. All right. Fuck that guy. The fucking um, the Seattle SuperSonics. They need you know they need help a lot. Of, like look at fucking Kevin Garnett. Kevin Garnett came out of high school just like Kobe and and, and LeBron and all, and he he was running shit with the fucking Timberwolves. He went to the the Celtics. He got help with Paul Pierce and Ray Allen, and they win. Kevin Garnett needed help. Seth Curry needs fucking a lot of help. Everyone needs help. LeBron LeBron James needed help, and you said he needed help every time he lost in the finals. He got no help. He got no help. He got no help. Not one person did this shit by themselves. Even Dr. J, when they snuck in that championship during the. That one gap year where where the fucking Celtics didn't make the playoffs. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, they won. The Rockets, they won. Charles Barkley needed help. If Charles Barkley would have won a championship, if Charles Barkley and Allen Iverson would have won the championship, they probably would have did it without no help. But even Allen Iverson had um, Matumbo. Yeah. It's a team game. If Like Shaq says, if the others ain't working, you can't win this by yourself. The Pistons understood this. And that's why the entire defensive game plan was guard Jordan. Facts. <laughs> At one point, it almost seemed like guard the rest of the people. Let LeBron do this shit. Because like, if LeBron scores 40 points a game, we're going to beat him 130 to 40. And they got nobody else to score. Problem is, if you'd have let Jordan score, he'd have scored 80, 90. Facts. And that's not even saying I'm not saying that Jordan's a better scorer than him. It's just the fact that if you let Jordan score, he's gonna score. LeBron is still a pass first option. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He's always been that's why I, I don't understand why they don't compare him to Magic Johnson or the fucking to Pippen when they wanna do all this shit. Cause he plays more like them. He definitely plays more like Magic. James uh, LeBron is more of a facilitator. You know, I mean, it doesn't help that, any, that it doesn't help that he's also a fucking actor, a fucking burger. That's true, yo. So, real quick before we get to the actual question that um, Hutch asks, the Mets are on the uh, trying to get the eighth straight win, but they're losing five to three. And the question was uh, about uh, Tiger Woods' son or oh, Tiger Who his son. Tiger Who. So that's why we got to LeBron James, because his son is about to fucking join the NBA. Yeah. And a lot of people are saying that he he's not good enough to be in the NBA. I don't know. I don't. I don't watch that type of basketball. Yeah, but no. is it that he's not good, or is it again they're comparing again the standard? Like his his dad I, I plays like this. I, truthfully, I think they're trying to compare him to his father. Yeah, that's what I'm. That's what I'm saying. Like it's one of those where it's like. If he's anyone else, if he isn't Bronny Jr., right? I feel like they wouldn't be that harsh with the critique. No, I, like, he, I mean, look, I'm gonna be truthful. I've seen him play. He he can probably be a late round draft pick or maybe an early second rounder. Yeah. But because his last name is James, he's going to go in the first round. Which I don't really, I don't think he should go in the first round. He uh, to me. He's a decent player. He's not going to be a great player from what I see. And and to me, you, you should only get drafted in the first round, in, in the top 10, if you have the potential to be a great player. Yeah. Because if your pretend chose to be a burger, you should be in the second round. Damn it, Ray, I did that one on purpose, and you fucking failed me. You fucking failed me. 
Fucking Ray. I got you, Hutch. No, it's not up. Why is it not updated? I put eight. It's supposed to be at eight. Uh, that hurts. <laughs> I did it on purpose, but he's still busy looking at his baby mama Wait, sending no. him twerk, twerk videos. All right. And he doesn't know that we can update it on the fly, so he doesn't even need to turn it off. Look. <laughs> See, he's too busy blinded by the booty. No, I'm telling you. You know, you know what it is, Hutch. It's it's, and I'm I'm gonna blame Stephen A. Smith because he's the only person I heard say this shit, and they follow him. And I know he's in the know. I know he knows people, and he knows what's going on. When Lamelo was was uh was drafted, he right. said that the Lakers should draft Lamelo because he's media and is gonna attract more attention and all this other shit. And when the fuck did we turn around and say, we're going to draft a player because he's good for media and not good for the game? In, in the in the 2020s. Yeah, I was going to say, unfortunately, I think this era almost, it created that. It created the sense of I mean, we like have right to. Now, the only, the only uh, what's the word I'm looking for? The the only person that the only person right now that I can say is both a good player and is good for media is Caitlin. Who? Caitlin Clark. Oh. I heard Caitlin and I was like, wait a minute. Not Caitlin Jenner. Get your mind out the gutter. In my head, I was like, what basketball player changed the name to Caitlin? <laughs> <laughs> I was about to say, what well, Curry I don't think was the worst when it came to media though. Like he was marketable enough that it worked out both Ooh. ways. Curry. When it came to his press and all that, I don't think yeah, it was but worse. see, he came into the he didn't come into the league with that match with that much fanfare. Gotcha. gotcha. You know, like the, the Stephen they say so is saying, you know, Lamelo's coming in with a lot of fanfare. So who cares that he's not the best point guard in this draft? You know, the Lakers should draft him for that clout because it's what the people say nowadays yeah. for that clout. You know what I'm saying? No. Yeah. And that's that's, but I feel like that's gonna be the situation once they of off the bias of oh Bronny isn't good enough. That's gonna be the instant reaction of oh everyone's gonna want to pick him up because of the clout. Like oh you got Bron Jr. Like and it, it's the unfortunate scenario of that. It's like that right end, now in the clout generation instead of ability. Yeah, that and they they honestly believe that you get Bronny Jr. It's a ticket to get LeBron James. Yeah. yeah, but LeBron James is gonna be a 39 year old fucking basketball player. I'm sorry, but, he still looks like he's in great shape. But I, he's, I was, not, he's not the same. Yeah, I hear you, but I was gonna say, based off of whatever, from what I see from everyone else, who else is a good option to be on your fucking team? Because LeBron, at least, is playing at a level that's better than most at his age. As a free agent, who who are you taking? You can't take Kevin Durant because he doesn't, he can't play. Yeah. You know who you're going to take? You can talk Paul well, George? Kevin, though, Kevin Durant still got them soft for his own good. You know what I'm saying? Like, like who who's who's left? Because everybody else said that would probably be good enough to be in your team or where big ass name is around LeBron's age. They're veterans already. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can't get Anthony Edwards. He's still, well, he's still in his rookie contract. You know, you get Lame- you get uh, Bronny and LeBron on their team. It's I tell you one thing: you're not winning with them, but if you at least get <laughs> certain jerseys sold. But you know what, though? Nowadays, selling merch is actually for some organization is more important than actually winning. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Some organizations would rather not win the championship but have the flashy players that sells the most jersey in the league. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It, it, it's a horrible way of thinking, but there are some you know, owners that think like that. Yeah. You know, it, 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 it's, 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 in my book, it's bullshit. I'm here to win chips. I'm not here to sell jerseys. 
you know, but as, some, as it should be. But there, there that are just some point. players who are, oh, you know, I'm popular. Yeah. You know, you know, there are very few players out there that get royalties from all the jersey sales. That's still that's still that's still Jesus. a thing. Hey, hold up, though. That's horrible. That's still a thing. You know what I'm saying? Like it's not a guarantee. Yeah. My fault. My fucking internet. And the phone. show has gone to shit. <laughs> yeah, to Yo, I yeah, I got one question for you, show. What's that? Who's Hoshi? <laughs> <Hosh>. <laughs> For real, man. Yo, my son <laughs> said, oh, my son typed Hosi. I was like, what the fuck is Hosi? I can't spell Hoach, bro. I, I was Look at how it's it spelled, spelled here. Like it's under his fucking letter. It's the white circle in his box. Bro, now that I see it, I can spell it. But I, when I was trying to say his name, I couldn't spell it. I thought it was with his E. You know, if you put at, you can at him. And you don't have to worry about spelling his name. What letter you need for that? <laughs> you, need, you need the letter too. <laughs> yeah, what letter you need for that? Show, yeah. show, show, show. Uh, just a question for you. How old are you? Oh, I'm, I'm going to be 39 next month. Now, is that in human years or in dog years? Dog years. So I'm actually 77. <laughs> we don't need a funeral for his for his thirties. Yep. All right. So that, that would explain it. Well, you don't know what an at symbol looks like and a J. That's all you got to do, player. Bro. No, the thing is, he gave you a J. He just didn't know where the H was in your name, apparently. And he added an E. Yo, and he added an E. Yeah. Yo, bro. I so I've been trying to uh, repost the shit that he posts for years. I don't know how to add him. I don't know. How, I don't know how to do that shit, bro. Take it. Take it to one of your kids. They'll show you. Yo, and he God. never asked me. How, he's like, "How do you at people?" I gotta. Uh, when you when I see you tomorrow, you show me because I know you're gonna make another tips of the day. Uh, and well, so, that was this so, morning. So when you see him, yeah, when you see him, make sure you 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 uh, have a hammer and a nail, right? And you carve it into the stone you give him because he's still living in the stone age. Word. <laughs> so even no more guys trying to help you out. Look, no more guys trying to help you out. At simple. That's all you got to do, player, player. Listen, Hoes, you know who I'm talking about. I'm See, talking that's about an you. at sign and a hash brown sign. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, you just eat. I, I, I'll, I'll let you slide because you eat it. Oh, now I'm on the hash, bro. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> this is good. Yeah, no, man. Facts. 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 But, but, but the show is the one who started this shit up. Nah, but uh, what what we going to say, Mr. Show? You think Tigger Wu, his son is going to be better than him? I got Wu. Of course. I mean, his father's teaching him since he was just like his father taught him. And his no, father wasn't as good as Tiger. You think so. his father showed him not to swing that hard or fuck up his back like he did? That's true. He, well, he to cheat exactly on him, his, 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 his wife with 14 white women? That's right. Well, he's, definitely, white. he's definitely teaching his kid, hey, don't get caught. His wife was a, was, is a, was a model. I mean, uh, I think she's like Scandinavian or something like that. I yeah, mean, but, he cheated on it, her with 14 cookers and this porn is, stars. But this is the thing, Hoach. They don't understand there's a one white woman limit. One at a time. You can't have fourteen. One she devil. If, if I bet you any money, if he was if he was cheating on his wife with fifteen black women, not one of them would have made the news. He would have had fifteen child support. You bugging? Ask Ray. <laughs> Ray, how much you paid? None, because he beat the minimum. <laughs> you either have none or too many. That's right. Can't take away seventeen percent of seven kids. You bugging? Yo, bro. That's the only one that 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 is close to, to Ray is Nick Cannon. Yo, if I had the Holyfield too. Yo, if only I had Nick Cannon's money though, it'd be all right. But Vanda Holyfield only has one kid. He only has one name for his kids. 
all of his kids are. Oh wait, no, I'm thinking about George Foreman. But Holy 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 ain't got no his his kids ain't got no ears, so you ain't got, he can't worry about that. <laughs> Yo, it was generational. Mike Tyson just bit all their fucking ears. Uh, shit, well, you, I'm gonna tell you. I'm you gonna don't listen to Holyfield. He's like, well, I'm, this is what I'm, happened to me. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you. Who got Nick Cannon beat, and it's two football players. I miss Antonio, Smith. Antonio Cromarty and Travis uh, Henry. Really? Hey. Hmm? Antonio Cromarty got like ten kids, and Travis Henry has like ten kids too. No wonder he's always on your 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 uh, fantasy football league. Yep. Gotta pick yep. up. I got he kids to feed. I gotta make these bonuses. Word. <laughs> not tra- not not Henry from the Titans. Who's that? No, you know he, he was a, he played field played running back. Actually, did prefer run for the Titans, but he primarily on the Broncos too. Oh, I got you. Komari was a Jet, right? Nah, but Henry Tra- Travis Henry was a running back. Gotcha. That's they the got, white guy. They the got like ten kids. They got like ten kids and like five different baby mamas each. Mhm. I mean, this still those numbers do not compare to Ray with his two hundred and eighty baby mamas. Mm-hmm. Wait, now we at eighty? God damn! No, when we started the show, when we started the show, it was at two seventy, Ray, and you've gone dark at least ten times. Yeah, Ray. <sighs> You went to fungo the child's and came out with an extra baby mama named Cookies. So I don't Yo, know we what went, you We about. went to fungo with a child. I ain't gonna front. I ain't gonna front. I didn't see no cookies. That's what I'm saying. Like I, I wasn't the only one. I saw I cookies, was... but I didn't see cookies in the tray. That's what I'm saying. No, my my man. Oh, this girl had to be four foot eleven. I with saw her when fucking, she came around with a two foot by three foot tray. Yeah, full of chocolate chip when cookies. She, she came, they were six yeah. inches in diameter. I didn't see cookies. the cookies. Yo, hold, on, hold on, hold on. I gotta answer something from from normal guy. Normal guy, it don't count. It's from the same woman. Yeah, yeah that's Phillip, true. Philip River got ten kids, but from the same woman. It yeah. don't count. That's so a hard working woman. That's a woman count? that you say Happy International Women's Day, Ray. All yeah, these I other women are lazy talking about they don't want more than three kids. I if you can't make um, 14 kids, then what the fuck we together for? Yeah, why are you here? Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> not <nah>, truthfully, <laughs> truthfully, when she came with that tray, I was, I saw her, I saw her reflection in the glass. All you I saw, saw was her. It wasn't, you saw, I, it, it wasn't until she came around my, my other eye, my left eye, that I saw she had this big ass fucking tray that was bigger than her. Bro, you saw the reflection in her booty. That's what I was gonna say. She well, had the mega pound sound. You know what the crazy shit? The crazy shit was Ray and Hutch both. Damn, I ain't see no cookies. But you ain't hear me say nothing about I ain't see no booty. I said, ooh, cookies. And my perverted <laughs> vision saw the rest of her body and said, ooh, more cookies. Hey, cookies. The thing is that yeah. we looked in the direction that he was saying cookies. We're like, what cookies? Cookies. Um, but I was like, yo, I didn't see no cookies. Like, shit, you missed the whole fucking tray. I'm like, what tray? You Arch t- is oh. like, yo, you see the girl outside? I said, which one? I said, I named three by the bus stop. <laughs> He's like, no, the one that's crossing the street. I said, oh, okay, yeah, I see that one. Yeah, yo, and that, that that waiter or whatever, fuck, he was about to get fucked up because he thought I was looking at him, and I was. We clearly did <laughs> oh, not match eyes. Yeah. Like we didn't match eyes together, motherfucker. Like I'm like trying to look around your ass. You get fucked up, bro. Hey, big boy. Nah, no, listen, show. No, 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 no. You, you have to settle down with that shit because I got, I'll give him your number. Oh, shit. Now nah, I'm he, saying that's he, he what he's looking at you like. He hey, look a little boy. sweet, too. Mm hmm. Looking like a chocolate almond. Show, you didn't have no McDonald's to, uh, today. I was going to front. But I did. I ain't going to front. Those drinks were good. Yo, next time I gotta have one because I did not get to enjoy it. Yeah, and nobody let me drink. Not for that price. I'm good. Give me Bro, water. you asked if they could make you pee in the collide and they said no. Well, no, they said they could, just it wouldn't be frozen. Yeah, yeah. so it's not a pina colada. Nope. I don't understand that. We got a full right. bar. Bullshit, you got a full bar. You ain't got no goddamn blender. You got <laughs> ice. I know you got ice. I see it in the cup. You ain't got a blender? That's not a full bar, you cocksucker. Bro, we, uh, we, we got to uh, give you pineapple juice, basically. Got it. Basically, <laughs> they would have probably given him 
uh, pineapple juice and coconut rum. Nah, man, way. fuck that. That oh, ice. Nah, I but uh. <laughs> You you fucking freeze that ice and you blend that shit. You, there's twenty thousand dollar in pocket. You block that shit. All right. So so show answer the question. Answer the question, show. What's the question? <laughs> well, I just gotta think if it's still about Tiger Woods, he said he yeah. would. Oh yeah, he's he's gonna he's gonna be better than. I mean, his father's gonna teach him how to play better. That's not the question, is it? Fuck out of here. Y'all fucking around. <laughs> Let me check the chat. <laughs> uh, thank you. I'm fucking thank with you because I'm you. not on the computer. I've been here all week. <laughs> thank you. Rest in peace, Shaggy. Uh, got the, got the mileage. Uh, but sure. How about my uh, other? How about this other question? Should the Mets trade all their players away? Honestly, they should do exactly what Houston did. They should do exactly what Boston. Boston did it too. And look, they champions. Trade everybody away for picks. Have so many picks that when your players are getting better, you still going to be great because we have a thousand number ones. Here's the the reason why that won't work in baseball. Baseball is not like football or basketball. When you draft a player, they automatically do not come to the, your team. They go into a farm system. Depending on who, Manny Ramirez went straight. Was no, he here before? No, Manny. Manny played a, a year in. Ray hurt me. He just didn't want to acknowledge. <laughs> Wait, then he's on his phone again. That's what I yeah. picked him. Yeah. I but I heard what Joe said. What the hell? He just didn't want to acknowledge me. So Manny didn't go straight to the to. Cleveland, he 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 was in the minor league system for a year. Okay, I thought he went straight. No, no, very no. He was born uh, straight in baseball. No, no, no player goes straight. You're not allowed to be sexually uh, <laughs> deviant in baseball. That too. Word, fuck out of here. That too. No, but in baseball, you got a lot of rules in baseball. <laughs> yeah. In baseball, you know, you gotta, you have to go through the farm system. You, it's a must. They don't let you go straight to the the big show. True. So, you got it. Yeah, yeah, not that, that big show, with, Ray. With not that big show. See, yeah. I pay attention, and now y'all saying I'm not. Listening. You have God to start damn. slow with steroids. Yes. <laughs> and you, you also know. got you also got to get your uh, whatever you do before uh, your your uh, your batting stance and all that. You gotta you gotta work on that art too. Mm-hmm. You know the fifteen prayers or whatever you do, all that shit. Yeah, because you can't just step in the fucking uh, batter's box and start swinging. You need to say the Santa Maria five times. You got to go through the rosary B, hit the home plate six times, adjust the gloves, adjust the hat, kick the dirt, take a piss, call timeout. Grab your crotch. Come back. Grab your balls. Spit. All right, player. Pitch the ball. Do the thing that fucking Sylvester Stallone did and over the top. Yeah. All that. Turn the back hat, the hat backwards. Yeah, got gotcha, you, nope. man. Gotta get prepared. Gotta be ready. <laughs> yeah. Just in case. You never know. You know what I think it is? I think baseball needs another movie. Like The Fan with Wesley Snipes. That's a good movie. Robert De Niro? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, that's a good movie. We get another movie like that. I think the Mets are so Not another winning. movie like Angels in the Outfields, right? No, 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 no. No, no, no. no. no, no, no. Oh, oh, or, or the rookie. No, no, no. I like, I like the, rookie, the rookie, man. Yeah, same. <laughs> yo, this is nah. the second movie. Hold going to be like, yo, Ray, watch it again. <laughs> no, no, no. I actually like the rookie. Okay, I was going to say. Because yeah. earlier you got on me for liking fucking. Uh, no, we need, we need to go. He like Kazam. Toe, he said he like Kazam. Okay, I can't. I can't agree with you there. Today. <laughs> you by yourself, Ray. Now, mind you, he said he saw him when he was a five year old kid. I said. Try seeing it now, and if you last more than ten minutes, call me. Again, I'm gonna I'm gonna watch it this weekend. Listen, I have, I have time. I like seeing Shaq have fun. Yeah. The movie? <laughs> nah. Yeah. I think the movie would have been better if they called that the name, if that was the title of it. Shaq having fun. The movie. <laughs> then they would have been like, "Yo, this is a good ass movie." Word. This is dope. We not <laughs> maybe, excited. Maybe it's the Mandela effect. Maybe I thought it was better because I thought Simba was in it. Nah, bro, trust uh, me. That's a that's a bad movie. Oh, it's bro. almost as bad as the Super Mario movie. Wait, which Damn. one? 
the live action one. Yeah, John Leguizamo and Dustin Hoffman. Yo, I remember I bought the dope. DVD of that shit Yo. just because of John Leguizamo. The best part of that movie is when you put the VHS in and you can't find the track and you have to take it out and just watch another movie. <laughs> <laughs> See, I fucked up. I bought the DVD years you later, so you can't. Yo, you, can't yo, so you gotta you explain for Ray what a what a VCR is. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You ever heard of a cassette? <laughs> My so man it, said it, I only had DVDs. Yeah, we have a VHS, so it's like a film, and they put the pictures on it. It goes fast, and then you get to <laughs> moving pictures off of that shit. And the VCR <laughs> takes the VHS and you put it in there. And you're able to fast forward, rewind. But this is the thing, though, right? When you finish watching the, the, the movie, you have to rewind it because it's not like a DVD where it just starts over. You have to fucking rewind it. And back in the day, we used to have a separate rewinder because it was faster than the VCR. Yep. And don't Push. let that tape get caught in the VCR. Yeah. <laughs> and, yo, and the thing was, there was a little clip. There's a safety yeah. clip. So you couldn't record over the thing. But the thing was, once you broke it, now you can record over the, whatever you had. I was so going to say, you were to record on those, so all right? those Thundercat, you know, cartoons that we used to record back in the day, if you actually watched it and saw all the porn, <laughs> nigga, that was gold, man. <laughs> oh, Thundercats yo, episode yeah. three, season 52. Oh. Your mom didn't know how many seasons of Thundercats there was. It was only half a season of Thundercats. And you got 80 VHSs about the shit. She put in, let's watch some Thundercats. No! And it's BBC everywhere. You know, you know what mom used to pass busting that nuts because that's where you left it. Because you know, back in the day, you can't. You know, you had to rewind. This is the part I want to see when I get home. Bloop, bloop, press stop. Yo, because you couldn't just leave it there. You, you know, that shit. Sometimes they had an auto rewind, so it was like once it hit that, that's when you got fancy. Now tracking, sometimes the shit got dirty. You had to, you had to, you had to play with it. Cause you yep. get these white lines that yeah. go across the TV and shit. Yeah, bro, which is funny because now every fucking editor likes the static shit. Yeah, like yeah. I'm guilty of doing that shit. I yeah. do that a lot. When my you had to editor. deal with that static shit, you don't like it. Yo, but I that's don't like the funny it. thing. It's like now everyone likes that shit. Like in most edits for fucking, especially wrestling, everyone likes that shit. And it's like you don't like being told what to do. Like what the fuck? Um, but yo, show how old do you think I am that I don't know what the fuck a VHS is or a VCR? Listen, as soon as the first word out your mouth was, I only had a DVD, nah. No, 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 no. <laughs> I said I bought the DVD, oh, but I have VHSs. I, you, I also I recorded, but bro, how many Raws did I have just fucking recorded there? You hear that, Hutch? He recorded porn too. <laughs> no, no, I'm not, Jesus. You know what's crazy, Ray? Monday yeah. Night Raw. Now right, I'm right. Fucking... Sure, Ray. Sure, Ray. We all know what kind of raw you were talking about. No wonder he has so many kids. Channel 35, Robin Bird, raw. Please. Yeah. Ray, 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 was singing, Ray was singing, baby, let me bang your box around his mom, and his mom didn't even know what that was. Yep. Mm-hmm. Riding my pony. <laughs> mm-hmm. All right. What else, what else is there to discuss? <laughs> Ray's like, can we move Ray's on, please? Thanks. 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 Game is uh, over. The Mets lose. Not surprising. I'm sorry. But, so I know you was away. Um, Now that the NBA season is officially over. Fuck the, fuck the Boston Celtics. Uh, yeah, my sentiment exactly. The bunch of burgers. Yes. Cheeseburgers. What What are you looking on, forward right? this offseason? I mean, I think the most exciting part of the offseason is when they start making moves. When you like right after the draft, you start hearing all these players getting signed to this team and signed to that team. It's like, yo, this is a super team. And it, it's almost like I don't watch the season because this super team sucks when they play together. Like when they put the Clippers together with Kawhi Leonard and Paul George and this guy and that guy and all this shit. And then CP3. Rest- yeah. And I'm you like, think they're going to the finals. Yeah. I'm like, yo, it has to be. And then they didn't even make it out of the fucking third game. It's like, what? Psych. Yeah, it's it, Kawhi Leonard's like, yo, I'm not playing for no team but the Clippers. Then he gets to the Clippers, my back hurt, my 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 back and my spine. I broke my spine, spinal back injury. Cannot play no more. Yo, the Toronto was like, nigga, you get us a championship, we'll kick you the fuck out of here. He goes, here goes a quick one for you. Why did he leave a championship team? I just want. He didn't want to be. He didn't want to be in Toronto. 
That's because because Pop Pop fucking screwed him and sent him over there. He was tight. He didn't want to play over there. But he wanted to play with Popovich. No, no. He, he didn't want to play for Popovich. Yeah, he was sitting out of the 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 Celtics because his his hip hurt. That was Kawhi. That was that was the Lakers. I mean the Clippers. What? No, he, he was on the Spurs. Yeah, Kawhi Leonard was on the Spurs, went to Toronto, and then went to the Clippers. No, no, you said his back was hurting. I said that was when he was with the Clippers, right? His, no, it wasn't his back. It was his hip. His hip. Yeah. I don't remember him being uh, hurt well, with, with the Spurs. That's why I was asking. No, because he, he, he didn't play the last season with the Spurs because of his hip. Because he was hurt. Mm. And they, he was sitting out. Gosh. And it got to the point where he's like, I don't want to play with y'all because you're forcing me to play when I told you I'm hurt. And then he went to Toronto. He said, listen, I'm not really hurt, but I don't want to play here. And they said, just give us a championship. We'll send you on your fucking way. He goes, here you go. Fuck the fuck the Warriors. I don't know what's so hard about this shit, LeBron. And then he fucking went to the Clippers. And then David Serling was like, yo, I'm still the owner. You just got to be black and, and sell, sell tickets. He said, sure, I can do that. Keep hope alive. That's it. He said, who do you need on your team to sell tickets? He said, Paul George. He said, perfect. Paul George was like, yo, what am I expected to do? He goes, nothing. He goes, whoo. I thought you were going to tell me I got to play in the playoffs. <laughs> this shit, that's a problem. <laughs> I don't know if you saw me before, but <laughs> that's, 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 that's a problem. <laughs> he said, I'm good at doing nothing. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Shit, I'm the master at doing nothing. You had to pay me more if you want me to do nothing. Word, I'm the <laughs> shit. top player. Word. <laughs> shit. <laughs> there ain't nobody better than doing nothing than me. I want a top contract. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and it's, they said, fuck it. As long as you say black, you be all right. I'm watching clips, so I, I can say shit like that. See? I like that. I'm watching the documentary. I know everything that happened now. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> no, I was going to say, you, are, you at that good. table, too? <laughs> yeah. No, I'm not at that table. Oh, that table, that table don't have real good food in it. Uh, they had cold cuts. Right. But but at Jay Uso's table, they be they yeah. be good. Yeah, got you, got you, Because Jay knows how to be. Yo, we go to the, the Waffle House. Ah, that makes sense. That table's at yo, the Waffle House. The, the Waffle House be good, man. Waffle House be good. Yo, I ain't gonna lie. You just can't go too damn early. Yeah. Now. Jesus. Show know about the cookies I'm about to talk about. Yeah, <laughs> that, little, that little that little skinny bitch could have got it, son. To go yeah. for it, to. Yeah. Yo, we out to the Waffle House, Mama. That's it. We about to go run a test and go to the Waffle House in Florida and go pick up some beaches. <laughs> we out. We out. Yo, Ray. Knucklehead so, road trip coming soon. It's the it. best waffle, not too not too fluffy. It was light. And make you full and thirsty. It was perfect, bro. I've never had a waffle like that. Yeah, man. Yo, they're hash browns, though. Or technically, they're... Yeah, is it? Home yeah, fries? I was going to say, it's like a mixture. Because they like they do it in a way that's... Bro, so fucking good, man. Me and Toad, we didn't... We didn't have no hash browns. We was... Them, them no, it, it, came with the, it came with the burger. I was going to say, yeah. We you went there for... We, yeah, yeah, we had a burger, waffles, and some other shit. Damn, nigga, we was hungry. Yeah, nigga, shit. We just we just drove fucking what, twenty seven hours pretty much. We bro, grow, you man. go to the Waffle House, you are gonna have a meal, you are gonna have a few things. No, yeah, we did. And also, and depending on the waitress, they gonna tell you like, yo, you sure you don't want to try this? You gonna try this? You gonna no, try th- this? Th- this waitress was on some. I know what they want to try. Yo, <laughs> <laughs> bro, give me the burger. chocolate chip waffle. That's yo, what Ray. I wanted to try. <laughs> yo, oh yeah, I want some of that. Mm-hmm. Ray, I told Yo. this lady sunny side up eggs, yeah. right? And I think one of them was like a little too runny or something. Right. This bitch took the whole plate back. She said, "I'm gonna make your eggs again. I don't yeah. like how these look." I'm like, yeah. "What?" She yeah. did ask. She's like, "Yeah." She's like, "Yo, I overcooked the eggs. I don't like how they look. I'm gonna make them again for I'm you." I'm gonna make it again. I was oh, like, "They shit. look fine to me." <laughs> <laughs> and they, yo, and the funny thing was, we were like, "Yo, we from New York. That's all right." She goes, "No, no, no. Down here, honey, if we don't make it right, we may make it." I said, "Oh, yeah. really?" She took it mm. back, threw it out in the garbage. Fluke. I was like, what? Yo, just for overcooked eggs? It Slightly. was like a little runny. I wow, to that's up. crazy. She said, nah. 
I don't that's like crazy. this. crazy. He said, I don't like this. I don't like this. I'll be back. No, that's, 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 why southern, we, that's Southern hospitality. Cause that's not, why we left that whole $5 tip. That's right. We usually don't leave nothing. My tip would have been like, just the dig your tip. Mm-hmm. <laughs> don't walk in New York. Us know what I'm talking time. about. <laughs> yeah. Yo, you Bring ever had Waffle House, Arch? Yeah, absolutely. Shit. You forget, probably... my, sister, my sister lived in, in Georgia. 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 <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I can't say Georgia. We're going Georgia. I hear you. I hear you. It's, it's all good. It's like New Orleans. I can't say the way y'all people say it. Nah, can't say y'all say like, New Orleans. Say New Orleans. No, it's, it's, it's New Orleans. We going down Word. to New Orleans. And Cuba. <laughs> <laughs> you want to go to Cuba? <laughs> nah, man, but yeah, man, I've been to plenty of Waffle Houses. Just like, yo, have you had Chick-fil-A down, down south? No, nah, I only had mm. Chick-fil-A three times. One in Connecticut, one at work, and one in Florida. Well, then you have it down south. Yeah, but Florida ain't down. The, the Florida I went to was New York. It was Orlando, Florida. It was, that was right. that's not down for that's right. not down. Uh, if you if you're ever on another road trip or we do a road trip, you gotta go to North Carolina or maybe Georgia for, for some real Chick-fil-A. Bro, it's a different experience. Yo, let's do it. You you're gonna be like, wait, this is not the shit I be eating in New York. Mm-hmm. Uh, bro, that's, that's that's a lot of the stuff that's like, yo, you just taste it's like yo, damn, why is New York why are we yo. so fucked up in New York? Yo, we because gotta, everything is frozen. Everything, everything is shit frozen up here. Facts. Yo, this, this is what we gotta do. All we right. gotta buy a plane ticket to wherever the fuck we wanna go, Texas or or Georgia, Georgia, or wherever. Right. Yeah. And we rent a car and we drive back. And then we could just fucking spend the weekend driving back wherever. But yo, I just wanna ask y'all this one question. All right. Why the fuck is this the thumbnail <laughs> for the tips of the day? Why is that the thumbnail? <laughs> no. YouTube be fucking with you, my guy. You know what I'm saying? Like, yo, what? no, I, like, bro, they're, like, doing it to, they're doing it to me now, too. Like, I posted up a fucking <laughs> short of fucking Rich Wall from last night. And for some reason, the fucking the way, thumbnail. Ray, that was fucking amazing. Dude, this man pulled out a fucking guitar and so I started vibing. That was, I saw that sitting out like, yeah, that's fucking bad cool. Yo, and I knew he was going to do it because he fucking, bro, every time I've talked to Rich Wall. He just, if you say certain thing, that's it. He turns into a song. And that clip is from actual, like, a video um, fucking another worker, Alex Colon, sent as this dude that got arrested. And the whole time when they're trying to fucking put him in the cop car, look how they doing me. So, he's like, <laughs> no, we're going to turn this into a song. I'm like, all right. You know what? I saw, that, I saw that clip. I know who you guys, I know who you're talking about. Yeah. Yo, dude is fucking... Blackout drunk, like yo, look how they do it, be and bro. Every yeah, time I, I, that's I, a in the morning, in, in the morning, I'll be watching YouTube's on my way into work. So, I, and uh, not for nothing, some of my favorite shit to watch is uh, the, the cop interactions, especially like first of them in audits and, and the cops getting owned. Because I've never, re- I didn't realize to, the, to now how in every state they hired the dumbest motherfuckers. To be cops. Mm-hmm. Unfortunately, yeah. Unfortunately, yeah. That is a that is a thing. Because it's always somebody's sister, brother. Yeah, yeah. Bro, again. Again. How are you trying to enforce laws that you don't know? <laughs> And because they know that we don't know it. No, they hope that you don't know them. My man, like I I not you know that unless you've committed a crime or anything or, or entertainment, they can ask for your ID, but you don't have to give it. But you'll see all these cops talking about no, if I ask for ID, you have to give it. No, I don't have to. I, I, so I, I, like I watch the videos to laugh and shit like that, but they're actually very educational. It, it, it teaches you the the shit that you should know. That way, cops can't do the stupid shit they do nowadays. Yeah. 
You know what I'm saying? Which is, we, we, like I said, it's just a good learning tool. Believe me, believe it or not, you can learn some shit on YouTube besides the tips of the day. You should always look for the tips of the day. That's yes. right. Every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. That's right. All right, people. Mama said tips of the day. I'm going to give you tips of the day. Yo, we about to have a whole plethora of different songs coming through. But, but so I got a question for you now that you're on. I heard your boy wasn't at minicamp. This Who? Now double check. Rogers? Rogers! Ain't he running for president? <laughs> no, he, I, I, he, he dropped that. But uh, yeah, he was he wasn't in a uh, mini camp. Like he had uh, an excuse. So uh, you think he's gonna play three up uh, three plays again this year? You be honest with you, I'm not expecting him to put on the uniform. Listen, Bro. I'm gonna go on a limb and I'm gonna make a that bet, like on the national shit, because Toe last year said. He won't get out of the first game and three plays into the fucking season, he was hurt. Bro, we're watching. That's how fucking bad it is. We are watching the game. Fucking yo, wait, he's down. What do you mean he's down? We check I go for the I see the replay. I'm like, oh. The the stupidest thing was that he gets up like he's fine. And it's like and then you realize how bad your offensive line was against. He's like, no, 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 no. Yo, he sat back down like, nope, I'm done. I can't walk. It's like, my guy, you were fine. You got up. You did one of these. Like, you good. And I was like, you know what? I'm done. I'm going to go see if I can go off fan do it and, make, and, and see if that's a bet. <laughs> if, <laughs> no, I'm going to throw like $100 betting that Aaron Rodgers doesn't shoot up. I want to know what the I want to see what the spread is on that. No, my, no, put a bet on. We will see Aaron Rodgers get down again on the Knucklehead Network. During, during, every, during the training camp. Yo. Breaking news: Aaron Rodgers retires. Jesus, Goddamn you, heard <laughs> you heard it here on the Knucklehead Network. Don't forget every Wednesday at nine, you can tune in to the Knucklehead Sports. Oh man. Uh, but really, truthfully, you really think he's not even gonna suit up, Tell? I know you try to eat, but I, I got no, no. You a diehard Jeff fan, so I gotta hear from you, bro. I feel like he's the girl that your boy bagged. Had, that had no business bagging. And every time we see her, she a bitch. But in his eyes, she's a princess. God damn. You know what I'm saying? Talk about an analogy. <laughs> yeah, Ray, God damn it, Ray. If you keep looking at your fucking phone, we gonna have some problems, bro. Yeah, I'm gonna call you out every time I see you. Oh wait! <laughs> God damn it! If you don't want me, me to, no if you don't want me to look, make it private. God damn it! <laughs> oh shit! Fucking Ray! <laughs> we had a moment, Ray. This nigga waiting until they start preaching to pick up his phone. He over here texting home girl like they talking about you again. <laughs> 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 oh, but all, all jokes aside, man, with if that something like that happened, would you be okay with it? With what Aaron Rodgers retiring? Right. Yeah. The, all right. See, the only saving grace, and I keep looking up there, thinking that my camera's still up there. The only saving grace for Rodgers and the Jets is that we actually have a complete team now. Yeah. So if Rodgers doesn't play, all we need is a quarterback. But most of the time when all we need is a quarterback, we lose everybody else to get that quarterback. 
That's so true. if he doesn't play, Tyrod oh, Taylor yeah. better fucking step up. But it's almost like if he don't play this season, pack that shit up and we can all go home. We ain't winning. This season is do or die. It, it's make or break. You had two seasons. He fucked up the first season. This season is make or break. If you're not, if we can't. Making the playoffs is not acceptable. Yeah. It's got to be winning the Super Bowl. We have only but a couple years left with Rodgers. I don't care what he says. If he broke his Achilles by standing up and sitting back down, we can't trust this man to fucking not get hurt ever again. You know what I'm saying? We if, <laughs> we'll be lucky he make it through this season. But this season got to be Super Bowl. Yeah. This season got to be Super Bowl because I don't see next season anything happening because a lot, a lot of the players we got a one year. They're veterans and all that other shit, but we got to do it now. We don't have the time to wait. We waited 60 years. Now, yeah, this is this is judgment time here. Like, they need to, they need to do something. They need to do something and see if we're actually going to get a chance of it. But if not, why not? It's, uh, it's not very good looking. What do they need, Ray? Miles and miles of heart. But I don't think they got that because they betting it all on fucking Aaron Rodgers. T- that. He's learning. He's learning. Yeah, but we talking about the Jets. He needs pass protection. <laughs> <laughs> he needs an offensive line, Ray. Here's the trick question, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> we talking about the Jets. <laughs> no, nah, but the, the, you guys signed nah, a couple. You, you, you guys, you guys signed a couple offensive linemen. Yeah, we did. I mean, who got? Who's your tight end? I still, it's the guy that was in Minnesota, right, Conklin. Uh yeah, Tyler Conklin. I mean, who, who I, I forget. Uh, your first round draft pick was a tackle this year. Yes. So I, you think he starts? I hope so. From what I understand, this guy was pretty good. <laughs> Normal guy say he needs a big black man. <laughs> oh, <I'm sorry. laughs> Y'all saw the tank fight? Yo, yeah. Yo, Krills, I sent you the link, even though I'm pretty sure that uh, Ray didn't send you the link. I did. I sent, Bro, I sent everyone the link. To his email? Yeah. No, I didn't send it to his email. I didn't know I was supposed to send it to his email. Dean? I just thought I was supposed to send it through IG like we usually do. You didn't, uh, Hodge I mean, gets it through his email. Yeah, but I was also, I also just went in. I, I also went in and, and found your last email. That's how I was able to join. See? Oh my bad. No one told if, me I need to send it. If you want, if, if Cruz wanted to be on, he would be on. No one, no one told me to send it through emails. My apologies. I gotta <laughs> get emails. Locked outside. <laughs> locked outside, looking in. <laughs> Yo, Cruz, I'm gonna water. need your email just for the next time. <laughs> Yo, but I'm sorry. Just a quick recap of that fight. I honestly thought that Tank was talking too much shit. You know how some sometimes these these fighters get too cocky, right? I thought he I, got a little yeah, too cocky. I saw that, and, and then the, the whole flinching episode and everything yeah. in the pre fight, I was like, "Yo, he better knock this guy do the fuck out, or else he's gonna look real bad." And he knocked him out <laughs> in the eighth round. <laughs> Send me the link, Ray at Gmail <laughs> 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 you said that shit there, Ray. You blocked that shit. <laughs> Yo, oh, this he ain't knocked him out. He knocked him the fuck out. Yo, he knocked him oh. into Yo, another he, generation. He he lit him up. Word. He, he, yeah. he, he, uh, I, anybody remember the movies Three Ninjas? Yep. Yeah. Light the up dummy. the eyes, boys. Yeah, the dummy when he when, he, when he, fucking they light the dummy up. Yep. Yeah, Tech lit that boy up. <laughs> yep. That's, Shit. that's the best left fucking hook out. Well, it was a left cross. It was an uppercut to the left. Yeah. But yo, I was telling my boy, because he's not that into sports like that. I was telling him, like, this is why Tank is one of the best fighters in this Krills, in this era be, right now. Krills, don't be mad that your Mavericks lost a bunch of burgers. Oh, shit. Damn. You might want to put 15 because there's five burgers on the court. That's right. Who got that soothing music on? 
Oh, he gave he hit him with the seven yo's. Yo, 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 yo. yo. <laughs> that was that. Yo, 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 yo. Hey, and you know what's funny? I know the tone in he's saying those yo's. <laughs> it wasn't Luca though. <laughs> yo, it, I mean, where the fuck was Kyrie at? That was some bullshit that, that he fucking fouled out of what was it, game five? Yeah. That yo, they were on that they were on the comeback. That's crazy. They were on the comeback. They I think they either tied it or they were down by two and they whoosh, get him out of here. I mean get Luca out of here. I mean I, I I think Luca fucked up on that one. You know you have five fouls. Don't don't chance it on a play like that. But I think that's the only play I can criticize Luca on. In the seed in, 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 in the series, he did his thing. Yeah. Man, fuck the Celtics and their story. Word, Bunch of fuck fucking Boston. burgers. Bitch. Fuck Boston. Boston, Boston. They're gonna suck a dick. The script. <laughs> yo. We spoke about this a couple weeks ago. And yo, the crazy shit is Hutch. I was talking to my boy at work. And he we're talking about the betting lines. And um and my boy, he the, game one, he he betted on the Mavs and the Mavs lost. And it was one of those if you if you bet a hundred, you won two hundred or some shit like that, right? So he bet a hundred. Uh, he bet whatever. He lost. Game two shows over here. Boston never wins game two. So he bet on the on the Mavericks wow. again. And if oh, you beat and if the, yeah, and if the Mavericks win, you you get money. So then they lose game two. Game three, I put money on it, they, and I won. The game three, it was one of those. If Boston wins, you um, you get money. Oh, you know, if if uh, it's one of those like, you don't get no money if if they win because some shit like that. So Boston won game three. Then we're sitting there it's like, yo, it's funny how this one right here, no, none of the teams. If you if you bet on them, win you money. And I was like, this is the game that the Mavericks are gonna win. Because why why wouldn't it be if you bet a hundred dollars on the Mavericks that you would get mad money because they're losing? I'm sorry, I had a laugh at, at Joseph. He blames Jerry Jones. <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> no, but you know what I'm saying? Like it you could tell by the betting line who was gonna win. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like it, it was almost like the game team that four, game four, the only game the Mavs won, and that one was an even betting line. You couldn't win money. Really? You, yeah, you couldn't profit money on it. Depending on who who won, you could you know profit. You can't double it. That is very interesting. Yeah, it was one of those things that it was like, yo, this one is not even worth betting on because you ain't gonna make no real money out of any mm. team. But the yeah. other one was you was making you was making a good amount of money. If you bet it on if the Mavs won or some shit like that, you was flipping it double. Yeah, so I'm like, I'm, so I'm like, yo, then, then the Ma- then the Mavs won game four, and that's when Kyrie was on. So we see you game five, and then they they lose game five. Then he forgot. Yeah, he forgot that they they can't play no more after that. <laughs> but you know what I'm saying? Like it, it it's I find it funny how that betting line really fucks up a lot of shit. Because I honestly think that th- that should have been the Knicks winning that championship. I don't think the bo- I don't think Celtics would have had anything for the Knicks. Damn, bro, a true Knicks fan, bro. Yo, Stand bro, Kyrie, Kyrie Irving went well, like zero for eleven three pointers. Come on, bro! Like it's weird how Kyrie and Luca were the best duo in the league in the playoffs, and then they play the fucking Celtics. And Kyrie can't hit a shot, and Luca gets fouled out in a very important game. The refs. You know what I'm saying? Like you telling me that don't you don't find that weird? Like you would, if anything, you would think Luca would choke because this is his first finals. But Kyrie, he's got two championships already. Come on, bro. Correction. 
LeBron got two championships. No, correction. Kyrie got two championships because the other three times LeBron went to the finals without him, he ain't win. Kyrie, Kyrie played on the same level LeBron did when they won those two championships. When, when LeBron had 45 points, Kyrie had 45 points. That's why they were calling him Batman and Robin. Come on, show. But that's the thing. Batman had you 45 here, every game. <laughs> you, you over here talking about the uh, Michael Jordan beat fucking uh, Pete Maravich and, and Bernie Sanders and all these other people in the playoffs. <laughs> <laughs> no such thing as a coincidence. That's what I'm saying. It's 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 I yo dude. That's part of the reason why I hate sports. You know what I'm saying? Like there's no chance. Like they still leave enough to the imagination for it to be random. But how random is it? You got a team that that should be on paper winning championships, and they can't even make the fucking playoffs. When they were in the bubble, Anthony Davis was the second best player in the league. And now my man can't even make the playoffs. Come on, man. With the with a franchise like the Lakers? I don't know. I understand why the Knicks ain't winning. Because James Dolan and a lot of people don't like all that shit and the media is you alive. Apparently they don't have media in any other fucking state, but but then the Golden State Warriors out of nowhere, they're LA team that wins all the time. Come on, <laughs> really? I remember when the, the Golden State Warriors had the same amount of three pointers back in the day, and they weren't doing shit. Now Curry becomes famous, and now he got seventy five fucking championships. Tell him, Krills. <laughs> Look, bro. Curry folded. He took the money. I think he took the money. He went through the door. Oh. He, he's a boss tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Once Boston's in your blood, Boston don't never leave your blood. <laughs> Damn, bro. Um, I don't even know what to say about it. I just took it for what it is. Nah, I, hear you. I just, I just, uh, I couldn't believe it. Kyrie's playing that bad, and me either. They, they found an like, come on. It was weird. There's no way Kyrie should have fucking ice in his veins. There's no way he should hit that slump now. No, I don't know. I think he took the money. It's not, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be surprised. He thinks the Earth is flat anyway. Like it doesn't make sense. Ray is texting nah. his baby mama right now. You think he, uh, think he was trying too hard to prove people wrong? No. I don't think Kyrie gives a shit about other people. No. I mean, he, he, I mean, he do. Person. He do. He do. He does. I mean, like, other people's opinion. I, oh, if, that, if I yeah. Meant, like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, like I don't mean like he doesn't give a shit about it, like he's a stone like he's stone cold killer, human but I mean being. like yeah, like like he's a bad human being. I I don't yeah. think he cares about other people's opinion. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> he don't care about people. <laughs> I was like, whoa, whoa. I mean, maybe. But... I don't know him like that. <laughs> yeah, but he's facts. Who knows? What he keeps heads in like in the freezer. <laughs> right shit. Yeah, frozen cat and shit. <laughs> Jeffrey Kyrie. <laughs> Jeffrey Kyrie. <laughs> yeah, man. Jeffrey Irving. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that flat earth comment always kills me. Yo, for real. I mean, yo. I don't know how it works. I never got into it. It's just to me, I was like, I, if if Neil deGrasse Tyson is saying that the world is round, then the fucking world is round. If we could terraform Mars to be another Earth, then we fucking terraform Mars. Don't worry about it if it's flat or not. 
Neil deGrasse Tyson is our god. I don't know, man. But yeah, I mean, yo, Prills, you you said something yo. about the the tank fight. Would you, would you got a comment on the tank fight? Not really. I started watching the fight after the fourth mm-hmm. round. But when I got to where I got to to watch the fight, uh, my friends let me know, hey, yo, Tank is getting his ass whooped. And when I saw the fight, I saw a mark on his face. Like, it was red at, a, at his cheek. And I was like, oh, he is getting tagged. So, um, yeah, I started watching the fight. But from that point on where I, I got there to start watching it, Tank was kicking ass. Like, he was taking him apart. So you the lucky like, guy. Yeah. <laughs> so to me, everything they said didn't make sense. I didn't see it, you know? Yeah. I just saw Tank whip this dude's ass like nothing. Cruz, you know so, what it is? Tank Tank fights weird. He's like a... He goes forward and he covers his face. So it looks like he's getting hit at first. He was getting... He was getting... He was blocking a lot of shots. But he, he was coming forward. And Frank was fresh, and he got tired towards the end, and that's where he said, "Showtime, Kuplik." Uh, just strategy. The yeah, that was the strategy. That's that Mayweather shit. Mm-hmm. They just tire you down, then it's over for you. Yeah, yeah, the champion. You're just smart. Mm-hmm. Hey man, he knocked. That's him part good, of the though. game. He knocked him real good. Changed his attitude. He ain't talking shit no more. <laughs> I ain't know nothing about the fight. I ain't seen no press conference, no hype, no nothing. The only thing I saw was that flinch. They did a press conference. They went face to face and tank flinched at him. And uh, this dude bit on the flinch. And like he went to go block the thing and, and hit him back. But at that point, it was, tank was like, you bitch, you bitch. And I, I was telling these people, like, I'd have hit him. Hell yeah. I mean, I'd, have, I'd have said, bow, hit him. The like, Bronx. see? Where it's like, yo, look, hey, what you want me? What you want from me, puppy? That's reflex. Sorry. Yeah. Yo, Chris, I give you the backstory. Um, they, they uh sparred. They used to spar. He used to spar everybody. All the champions before. They sparred, and this is the only kid that caught him with a left, knocked him out. They, they got knocked Tank out. They got. They was arguing about the tape at the press conference. So niggas like, yo, I whoa, was whoa, young, whoa, Wait, bro. wait, wait. What tape? What tape? They had a tape uh, back when he was with Mayweather. They used to they used to spar a lot at the Mayweather gym. Yeah. So Frank was one of the guys that sparred him. Oh, okay. And he caught him with a flush red left hand. He said, "Yo, I, I gave him word. Yeah, he said I gave him the bricks. He was out. Nigga, Tank was tight. Tell him the story. <laughs> so that was oh. the backstory. He's like, I knocked him out before. Oh wait, so Tank knocked him out, or he knocked nah, Tank out? Frank, Frank. Frank uh, knocked out Tank, according to the tapes. Okay. Caught him with a left hand. You know, I tell you what, I'd rather you knock me out of sparring than in the ring for $50 million. <laughs> That's what Tank said. I was taking it easy. I mean, this is for real. What's up? Shit. <laughs> it looks like he got his get back. Hell he knocked yeah. me out in front of five people. I knocked you out in front of the world. <laughs> Hell like yeah. Oh, my boy Fleco. That's right. Un ching ching. That's right. <laughs> Fucking yo, Frank hit him, and all you heard was "You fucking maricon." <laughs> <laughs> you fucking maricon. You hit me in the face. <laughs> you must kill me. <laughs> Knock him out and then do a backflip. Excuse me, triple flip. Yeah. <laughs> yo, Cruz is a, is a big time golfer. Like. Yeah. I know Hutch don't know this, but I know it's about Cruz. Cruz loves golf. He'll tell you anything about golf. How you feel about Digger Wood's son playing golf? He's got it. He's in the PGA Tour. Oh, is he? Yeah. Mm-hmm. He was teaming with his father at one point. I mean, can I be honest? Yeah. yeah. Fuck that nigga. <laughs> no, I don't care. I, I have no idea. And how do I feel about it? Like zero. <laughs> like, the was like, going in. Fuck that nigga. <laughs> literally, respectfully, like, like I don't know him. Like I have no care. Oh shit! Can I say something? Fuck I don't even that know what nigga. to say. It, wait, 
Is he good though? Like, is he nice? <laughs> Just like his pops, bro. Twin for real. Twin, no, not physically. Like, <laughs> no, he he the, white women. the swing, everything. Twin, same Has little justice. Anything? Uh, nah, I think he's too young. He's like, what? He's like fourteen. Oh, okay. We gotta search it. He was when I saw him, he was like seven, bro. He was tagging with his father. He Once was you said son, that, that expected. Uh, he's fifteen. Like, 15. See, I was, I was like, I was expecting like college. Shit. Okay, uh, he fell short of the PGA Tour qualifier Thursday after 12 stroke performance trash. on the par four, oh, oh, several double bogeys and bizarre behavior by fans who've been criticized for overcrowding a teenager during this round. Man, he Yo, drugs. He, he's 15, bro. They give him he a guess chance. He got anxiety. He's yeah, gonna be no good, way. Bro. There's no way you can sell so. this to Tiger Woods, son. <laughs> you know, not for his dad, it's just for himself. I hope he's good. Maybe, maybe I'm dope. bugging, but I, there's no way. I don't know. That's he looks like his mother. He's white. He's blonde. Nah, I hear you, but I don't know kid, how. They, like he walks down the street, like oh, that's just some some kid plays golf. That is that's Tiger Woods, kid, son. Bro. Which Tiger Wood? Don't get <laughs> Tiger Wood. <laughs> the white Tiger Wood. <laughs> Yo, uh, so see if you can play a clip of them swinging side by side. They have a video. Twins, brother. Same justice. When he gets pissed off, the same motion and everything. Fuck! Right, hold on, let me uh, take it off until. Let's make some money. Shit, <laughs> you eat, you have to pay for that. Oh, okay. Fucking show. Man, the sun swing is faster. Yeah. Funny thing is, he's more like his father with the after. Like, after he swings, he twirls the fucking golf club just like his power. He does everything, bro. The fist pump. He's going to be good, bro. He looks just like his pops. Yeah, but is this his pops before the white women or after the white women? Uh, <laughs> probably his the pops, young pops. His pops always had white women. For Always, yeah. Yeah, before he got caught or after? That that's the question. He was married <laughs> to a white model. A fine one. She was oh. a model. She's the one that dumped him. Yeah, but this is before he got famous. Uh uh-uh. No, but after he got famous. Bro, he had that car accident where he broke his leg because he was cheating. That, you know what that's I mean? what I'm saying. There it is. This is the video I watched. Clink. My man, see, my man dropped him. That's that's Tiger Woods where he drops the fucking golf club like that. Well, he's sheathing the sword again into the hip. Yeah, that's that's how his pops do it. Flee. Nah, but he over rotates. His back foot is too too far back. Well, he looks seven there. Look, 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 look. See, look at the back feet. Tiger yeah. Woods' front foot is a little bit more pointed. When you rotate, look, he picks up the foot. He rotates it out. You can, you can see. There's too much. Too much rotation. His left, fine. his left foot is too far in. No good. Send him back. He should be My a carpenter no with good. that. With that swing, he should have been a carpenter. My man said no good. <laughs> no good. Send him back. <laughs> Yo, I could imagine so as a trainer. Let me see that again. No good. Yeah, no good. Yeah, fuck out of here, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Come back next week. Word, you got this shit. No yeah, yeah, no more of this shit. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck out of here. <laughs> Bronson douchebag, what? Bryson douchehambo, douchebehambi. Just won the U. The center for the for the Spurs just won the fucking U.S. Open. <laughs> A ween boy? Shit. Alright, is Tank proven he's the greatest of his division? So far. 
I would think so. Yeah. When when does Mayweather come back to fight him? Never. On some Tommy shit and Rocky. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, to be honest, I think Mayweather's making more money off a of tank than he would fighting him. So. Yeah. Right, yeah, yeah, I'm good. This should be acting up. I gotta restart it to listen. To it. <laughs> you just say, "Yeah, I'm good." <laughs> I asked you, if, "When does uh, Mayweather come back to fight Tank?" Oh shit, that should be a mega fight. I'll come with you put your fucking title on the line, sucker. Shit, yo, <laughs> I don't know when I said when the show come out to fight Tank. <laughs> My bad. I don't yo. know when, but he, he keep talking. He's gonna bring him up. Yo, yo I tell you what, if we get people, real quick, coach. I gotta head out. Now I hate you, real quick, coach. Before we all go, okay. If y'all can get me names of players for me to pronounce, I will make a short or a video of me pronouncing them. Just like if I was reading tweets. Got okay. it. Michael Adabakandi. Yeah, that's right. I got you. Numa Nama Scoliosis. And on that note, ladies and gentlemen, it's your friendly neighborhood knucklehead signing out. Peace, everybody. Today's a motherfucking day.